Hey guys, Colorful365, Ashley. <laughs> it's hump day. <laughs> I was going to do, and I'll tell it, I'll say it again. I was going to do a coloring today, but I think we're going to do a, we're going to do an art card uh, swap. Who's in? <laughs> Hi, Elmaris. So, um, I just pulled some stuff out for a thumbnail here because, you know, you got to have something to get people to come watch. How y'all doing? Hi, Darla. Going to do art cards and um, set up an art card swap. What do y'all think? I'll have to get with y'all on how long do you think maybe, you know, we should have it till it go for. Um, how long it should go for? <laughs> <laughs> Happy up <hump> day, Darla. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so I thought it would be fun. Let me make sure this camera's up just enough. There we go. It gets dark down in here. I can turn my light a little bit. There we go. That makes it a little better. So um, yeah. Hi, Julie Topaz. How you doing? I'm going to, I'm going to do a, an art card. It's been a while since we've done a swap. And uh, I know Janet had said something about doing one at some point, but she's doing the, uh, she's doing the uh, uh, scavenger hunt right now. So I thought this would be a little something kind of little, <laughs> you know, it won't take you long to do it. Hi, Kalora, Jazzy, Darla, Gaga, Kimberly. Uh, who else am I missing? So, um, yeah, I like to try to click on some names here. I don't know. I don't ever get them all, but you know, at least try to say good morning to everybody. So, um, I hope everybody's doing well and, uh, yeah, thanks for everybody popping in. I, y'all know I always come on a little early. Um, my name is Dee, Dee as you can see right there, if you're new <laughs> and, or if you're watching the recording, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, but I come on a little early to say good morning, greet people. <laughs> Hi, sister woman. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. Hi, Angie. Let's see. Sherry Bug, Sarah, Little Gypsy. I said, did I say, how do you, Kalora? Kalora, Becky, Kalora, Jersey. I said hi to Elmaris. Hi, Kenny. Good to see you. How you doing? Um, so, yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks, everybody, for popping in nice and early. <laughs> hi, Zeely. Good to see you. Well, that just, I mean, by the time I click on your name, it's on to somebody else. There's Zeely. Cheryl, <laughs> I some big jerk. So if y'all don't want to call him some big jerk, you can call him Gene. <laughs> so uh, let's see, who else am I missing? Amaris, Candy. So thanks, everybody. So we're going to do an art. Now, it's not going to be an ATC swap. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. Y'all know I make art cards that are three by four. So this one is going to be an art card three by four swap that we're going to do. I'm going to make some today, but um, I'll, and I'll talk about the swap. So I was going to do, here comes my cat, see right there. I was going to do a col uh, Copic coloring today, but I said, no, let's go ahead and set up a swap. Set up a uh, art card swap. Hi, Starla. So let's see. So, you know, if anybody's in for it, in y'all are in for it. <laughs> if you're up for, if you're up for a, an art card swap, it's going to be pretty easy. Oh, good. Oh, good. You, the cat, what? Oh, okay. I thought you said you couldn't wait to get in on it, but you're saying the cat wants to get in on it. Okay. <laughs> Well, I hope you'll join in, Gene. I hope you'll join in. Gene was in on the zine swap. So um, this will be fun. I think it's going to be easy. We're going to do it here. It's and I'll go ahead and tell y'all. Um, uh, it's going to be easy enough. Oh, thank you, Stars, for the super sticker. 
Thank you so much. Let me write that down. And um, I, I know, I think I have your address. Yeah, because I sent you last month. So thank you, Starla. And uh, for the $4 super sticker. And I'm going to put you on the list for the next round of thank yous. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. Hi, Mama Four. How you doing? Jeannie. Uh, said hi to Kimberly. Hi, Lynn. Can we join if we can't be on the lives? Of course. Anybody can join. Yeah, you sure can, Lynn. That's a good question. That is a good question, Lynn. You do not have to be in the lives to, to be in the swap. Hi, Val. I'm going to, hi, Pacola. So, Pacola, I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm going to do a, um, um, we're going to do a, an art card swap. Uh, let me write that down. Yes, you can be in swap if you are not on the lives. Okay, because I'm going to tell you how it's going to work. It's going to be real easy. It's going to be real easy to do. Um, yeah, but we're not, it's not, oh, wait, what was that was for the Nandra, the one scene swap did? I just think I folded the right way. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> well, we're not doing a zine this time. We're going to do an art card. It's going to be, it's going to be really easy. Oh, good, good. All right, so here's what I'll tell y'all. Y'all are y'all are here early, so I'm going to tell y'all. It's going to be a three for two. You send in three, you get two back because I'm keeping one. <laughs> I'm gonna so I can keep one to show off. Okay, I'm going to put them in their own book. I'll put I'll get the sleeves and I'll uh, I'm going to put the th this particular swap in their own little binder. And so everybody that sends one, three, you send in three, you get two back. Now you're not going to get mine. You're going to, I'm swapping out other people, right? So for instance, Ashley sends in three. She might get one back from Kalor and one from Jonna. Okay. And then, uh, but then, then Jonna may get Julie Topaz's and Kenny's. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to get two other people's. So you're going to send me three, I'm going to keep one, and you're going to get two back. So it makes it easy. You're going to have a self-address stomp, stomped. Don't stomp on your envelope. <laughs> you're going to send in a stamped, a self-address stamped envelope, and then you will get some back. Now, I know international, it's hard for them to do stamps and all that. So I will, I will um, pay for international uh, going back. OK, so if you're international, just make sure. Well, and I'll get into more of the rules. We've got to keep it within one business size envelope so you can get three, three art cards in one envelope and it will cost you at least two, maybe three stamps. Now, international is going to probably cost you a little more, but whatever it costs you to send it. If your stuff is a little, you know, if your cards are a little bulkier, now don't go all crazy and make them, you know, don't put them in a package. Don't get them all bulked up with, you know, tons and tons of dimensional stuff. But if it costs you three stamps, if it costs you three stamps, then, you know, make sure that I have the postage to send it on to somebody else. So it's just better if you can just get three or three Three art cards, keep them as flat as possible. I mean, if you want to put a little something, something on there, you know, that's up to you. And, uh, but you put, put at least two stamps on your envelope. Okay. Put at least two stamps on the envelope that you send to me. All right. And of course, you're going to send it to my P.O. box. Let's see, I like having to do three instead. Like, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, there's not going to be 20. You get That way you get two back. It's easy. Everybody can make three. I'm going to keep one in a binder, and then I'm going to swap out two, so you'll get two back, okay? And they're not ATCs. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. Our art cards are going to be three by four, and it can be on anything. I just make them on just card stock. You can get two pieces of, you know, decent sized paper and glue them together. But, you know, have it a decent, have it a decent way. You know, this is just card stock, right? That's, uh, that's easy enough. So I'll go over it all again. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'll I'll uh, I'll pay for the international to go back because when we did the zines, you know, there's some people I can't get international stamps. I can't, you know, so that's okay because I'll I'll send it back. I'll send the internationals back, but but pay for it to get here. <laughs> Don't send it to me, you know, postage due. <laughs> So anyway, uh, hi Muka Muchi, or no Moonchild. I'm sorry, it goes by so fast. Hi Moonchild. I said hi to Sherry Bug. Hi Janet. Janet, we're gonna do a uh, art card swap. Are you in? I told everybody it'll be something to kind of do in between the due date of the uh, of the scavenger hunt. So if y'all are working on Janet's scavenger hunt, which is due April 1st, I'm going to have this due, you know, maybe mid-February. I'll give everybody a month. I'll give everybody till mid-February and then give me, give me another week to get them mailed out because I have to swap them all out and everything. So if you get them to me, what's Wednesday? What's Wednesday? Uh, the mid, I don't have, let's see, here's my phone. I thought my phone was still plugged in. Let me look at my calendar. Um, all right. So February 17th. So if they're due to me, February 17th, which is a Wednesday. Is that right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. Due February 17th. And then I'll get them all mailed out by the 24th. Okay. By the next week. Um, make me be in so <laughs> of course I'm going to make you be in it. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have it do uh, February 17th and that gives everybody, you know, just a little over a, a month and a couple days. So you'll have a month to get three cards to me. I keep one, which will go in a binder. Two will be swapped out with two different people. So you'll get two different people's art cards again. I don't want to stress this enough. They are going to be three by four. They're not ATC size. Okay. <laughs> They're going to be art card size, not ATC size. And I'll put them in some kind of a book or a binder. I'll, fig I'll figure out something, but I want to keep them all together. You know, even if I have to make a book for them. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the update, and I'll, I'll go over everything again. Everybody can ask questions again. Hi, Terry L., Jane, um, who else? I'm, I know there's people coming in that I've missed. So I thought it would be fun. I'm going to go ahead and make some today, and give. I'm going to give a couple away today. I usually make six or eight at a time. Oh, the other thing, the, the theme. I'm sorry, did I tell, tell you all the theme? The theme is fantasy gardens and you can interpret that any way you want you can draw them you can paint them you can collage them you can make your cards with anything you want just don't get them too thick okay yes a self-addressed stamped envelope even if you're international I'm going to pay for your postage back if you're international but you need to address your envelope for me Self-addressed stamped envelope. That has to be in there too. It's going to cost you at least two stamps, maybe three. It might cost you three stamps to get to me, okay? Make sure you put enough stamps. If you're not sure, put three, okay? It's going to cost you at least two, but if you're not sure, put three to get them to me because you have to fold up a self-addressed stamped envelope, a business size. Let me show you here. Let me get one here. Let me write this down on here. <clears throat> this is a, this is a business size. Now I know the international; they're a little different size. That's fine. They're a little tinier and a little bit thicker. You know, they're a little bit different otter size. They're odd size, and that's fine. But you want it at least this big so that I can get your two cards back in there, right? So this is what you have to have a business size or or close to. You know, don't send me one of those little tiny envelopes like that. It because I <laughs> just don't do it. Okay, so let's see. Um, no, that's another good question, Zeely. Let me write that down. They do not have to be the same. Uh, all uh, cards do not have to be same. Cards do not have. To, I'm gonna. I'm writing y'all's notes down so I I cover everything. Good question, Zeely. Cards do not have to be the same. Okay. They can all be different. 
They can all be different. But stick with the theme. The theme is fantasy gardens. Okay. And I'm going to say all this again. So y'all are probably going to get tired of hearing it again. <laughs> But, you know, that's what you got to do with the swap. And then I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and make a couple today. I'm, I might work on six. I Sometimes I go with eight, but I think I'll just go with six today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they can be whatever you want. Um, yeah, but that was a good question. Thanks, Elmaris and Z Lee. Anybody? Yeah, good question. So, um, yeah, so I'm sure we'll have more questions. Don't forget, guys, if you have any questions, put them in caps, okay? Put them in caps if you have any questions during the thing, and hopefully I'll see them or Bacola, Julie, or Janet. Well, Janet, you know, you, you might get Janet. <laughs> oh, I love to pick on that girl. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and But don't forget now, if you're in Janet's... Uh, um, scavenger hunt swap that's still due. <laughs> make sure you stick with that if that's due april 1st okay april 1st is janet's uh scavenger hunt and janet if she's if she's there maybe she's off getting coffee i don't know she can put in the link to it <laughs> so um if you're into janet's uh journal uh a uh, hundred item scavenger hunt swap um <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh so funny <laughs> hi erica good to see you let's see janice erica <laughs> ashley's just laughing <laughs> i know <laughs> so anyway guys so i i think it'll be fun i think it'll be fun to do um to do uh, an art card swap again it's going to be let me make sure i write these i did write that down okay so uh three by four size i'm writing down everything i'll, I'll need to repeat hi kathy c we have a kathy c we got a kathy a we got a kathy b so we have a kathy a b and c <laughs> kathy a kathy b kathy c so good morning uh, so yeah, and I'll go over this again. Uh, so we are going to do, as you saw in the title, if you saw the title when you came in, it's a um, fantasy garden art card swap today is what we're going to do. So, okay, there's Janet's, um, uh, you can find the scavenger hunt list in her community page. So just go to Janet M. Young and look in her community page. And then there's the list of the scavenger hunt. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> You're so bad, Janet. Oh, hi, Michelle. Let's see. What did Michelle? I see I missed some. Oh, we're going to go back over it. We're going to go back over it, Michelle. Don't worry. And plus, you know, you can always go back and watch the recording. So, yeah. Hi, Tracy. So, again, if you're just joining us, we're going to do an art card, three by four card, art card, three by four card swap. You're going to send in three, you get two back because I'm keeping one to make a, our own book of them, okay, to show, to show off, okay? And um, so, and I'll probably keep my favorite one or what I think is the best one. So, you better make them all good because I'm probably keeping the best one for the book. Just saying. <laughs> Hi, Nashua. Oh, uh, let's see. Who else am I missing? Feather, feathered hag. Did I? Yeah, I said. Hi. Let's see. I'm trying to click on anybody. Um, yes, the my PO box is in my description, but here it is again. I keep it right here. This is my PO box. That's a three. There's a little piece of paint on there. Hang on. That's a three. Okay. There's, there's my PO box, but it is in the description under my, in my description about my channel. It is in there, but yeah, there it is right there. If you want to write it down, I'll show it again. So, uh, yeah, that's where it'll go. And there's Pagoa snap and turtle girl. <laughs> Thanks Pagoa. 
So I hope y'all will join in. It's going to be, you know, it's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be 10, 20, you know, some we've done those. We have done, <laughs> we've done tons of, uh, I, I think the most I ever did was the whole, I was in a swap once with the whole alphabet where you had to do, you had to do the whole alphabet and, and you got a whole alphabet back. Hi, little gypsy. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Let me write you down. I don't, do I have your address, little gypsy? Thank you so much. If I don't, make sure you email me your address so I can send you out a thank you. <clears throat> so I can send you out a thank you on the next um, thank you outgoing. So thank you for supporting the channel. <laughs> I know, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you guys. And, um, Supporting the channel. Oh, Tracy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Tracy. Happy birthday. I missed it. I missed it. Where are you, Tracy? I was going back to see where your birthday. It's my birthday today. Okay. Um, Tracy, do I have your um do I have your address? Tracy L. Let me get that. Send me your address, Tracy, and I will send you one of the cards I make today to wish you happy birthday. Okay, I think I do have your uh, address. Um, send art card for B day. Now, don't everybody come in here and tell me it's your birthday. <laughs> don't be pulling that on me now. Okay, so Tracy, I'll send you one of the art cards I make today. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, you're welcome. So let's see. I said hi to Jazzy. Did I say hi to Linda Patrick, Michelle? Everybody's telling um, Tracy happy birthday. Well, that's just the way we roll around here, Tracy. <laughs> that's the way we roll. Uh, but you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so thanks guys. <laughs> All right. So uh, give me a couple more minutes and uh, around, around nine o'clock, I'll go back over the rules again. And uh, I know when your birthday is Janet, I know when yours is <laughs> girl. Oh my goodness. So yeah. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and make some cards today. I just pulled out some of my other art cards just to show you some examples. Um, now, mine are mixed media collage. You can make your art cards any way you want. They just have to be in the theme of fantasy gardens. And you can interpret that any way you want. Okay. I pulled me out a bunch of collage fodder here to make some today. And um, my collage things to cut out and then i got some of katherine anderson's collages from her her books and uh just all kinds of things plus my uh plus some cards here just to show you some samples um i cut me a few down already but i'll show you how to cut down a uh, well i'm sure you know how to cut down a piece of card stock but i'm going to cut down some more and um yeah then oh and i also pulled my sticker, botanic, um, botanist, botanist sticker anthology. You can use whatever you want. Collage, stickers. You can hand draw it. You can paint your own little garden. You can sketch it. It can be a black and white. It can be in pencil. It can be an ink. It can be an ink, <coughs> Jean. It can be an ink <laughs> card. It can be anything you want. Hi, Molly. It can be anything you want as long as the theme is fantasy gardens and it's three by four. Hi, Molly. <laughs> so, again, um, oh, <laughs> Janet. Okay, I'll click on it, Janet. Yeah, my birthday is February 4th. <laughs> my birthday month. Janet and I celebrate the whole month <laughs> of our birthday. So, my birthday month is February. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so some big jerk. Well, you did say we could use your name. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, 
and if y'all don't follow um if y'all don't follow some big jerk he does have a youtube channel and he is on instagram and uh, he's one he's one of our newer fibs <laughs> so uh yeah <laughs> look at him trying to get on janet's good side it doesn't work some big jerk you cannot get on janet's good side because she doesn't have one <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> from month to month. Yeah, Janet. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. So anyway, I hope everybody's been having a good week so far. You know, trying to stay calm, peaceful, sane. You know, <laughs> everybody's hanging there. You know. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're all Americans. If you're in America, we're all Americans. So hang in there. <laughs> and if you're not from here, then, you know, thank you for being respectful for everything else. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. What would you like from me? What would I like from you? I don't know. You don't have to do, get me anything, Kenny girl. Why don't you, why don't you and your granddaughter participate in the swap? That would be nice. You two make the cards together, Kenny. You and your granddaughter make the cards together. That would be a nice, that would be nice. Okay. That would be really nice. <laughs> yeah. Everybody hang in there. <laughs> so, oh, yes, yeah, she is. She is, Kenny. We just, we just like to give her a hard time because she's good at dishing it out, but she can take it. <laughs> So anyway, did I say hi to Molly? Let's see who else. I'm sure I'm missing people. Nancy. Um, yeah. So we're gonna make some art cards and and you know have some creativity and some uh, exchange. You know, some art with each other. And again, if you missed it and you're out of the country, I will pay for your postage back. You get me the art cards and I will pay for your postage to get them back to you once you when I get them. Okay. So hi, Jennifer, Julie. Okay, Julie, we're going to go back over here again in a minute. They're going to be art cards. They're going to be three by four art cards that you make. You make three and you get two back. Because I'm going to put one in a in a in our collection, and uh, the only thing it has to be is fantasy gardens. That has to be the theme, fantasy gardens. But other than that, you can make them however. Just make them three by four fantasy gardens. Three, you make three, you get two back from two different people. Okay, so you'll get two different people back. Um, yeah, thanks, Pacola. So I'm, I'm sure I'm going to have questions throughout while I'm making uh, some here myself. Um, and I will, I'm going to give some away today. And um, <clears throat> hi, Gina. And one, where did I put my trade? Yeah, today's Tracy's, um, Lukowski's birthday. So I'm going to send her one. So we'll go over the rules again in a few minutes. I'm going to give everybody a few more minutes to come in. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some of my cards that I've made. And y'all know I do mixed media collage. So, of course, my cards are going to reflect my style and my um, the way I like to uh, do my art. So I do huge poster size. I mean, I've done poster size collages that are three feet by four five feet or four feet huge huge uh, rolls rolls of collages and then i've done some poster size then they get down to smaller size here's one that i'm working on now i showed y'all this monday i haven't worked on it anymore since monday but this is one that i was working on um this little house here with the door and all uh, i'm working on this one and uh, it's of course not done but it's in progress and um so these are some of the cards. I, I make them in poster size. I mean, postcard size. These are some postcard size ones. And um, these are some. And, and I do, I varnish mine. Uh, I do varnish them. Uh, Y'all do not have to varnish your cards. I'm just, I, I varnish mine. Don't feel like you have to get that, you know, 
you don't have to varnish your cards. I'm just showing you that I, I varnish mine. So these are the three by, these are three by four. This is the size you're going to make your cards. You don't have to collage. You don't have to paint. You can use whatever medium you like to use. It can be collage. It can be drawing. It can be inking. It can be anything you like. Okay. Oh, thanks, Starla. It can be anything you like. But the, this is the size, three by four. Okay. And so here's just a few of the ones that I've made over the years. And I, I keep a handful of them. I mostly give them away when I make them. Uh, but uh, I, I've kept these for some samples. And, um, yeah, then, again, postcard size, art card size. And you can even make inchies. Uh, I don't like to make these that much. They're too tiny. They're hard for me to see. But I'll just kind of flip through them real quick here. You can make, you can make your art any size you want right? Any size you want. <clears throat> so these are just a few of the ones I've made. There's a little, um, little stairs and little people. Um, so yeah, there's another one with little people. So anyway, but this is the size, this is the size we want to uh, make our cards. Um, let's see. Um, I also have a playlist with lots of, you know, art cards, mixed media, collage, altered books, aband altered abandoned books. I have all types of uh, playlists. I think I have some 20 something. Oops, I just kicked my, let me go ahead and get that out so I can I'll cut up some more uh, cards here. And, um, <clears throat> So I'm going to make some uh, today with the theme of uh, fantasy gardens. All right. So, yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's let's keep that one over. Yeah, Jane, I know where you're going with that. Jane, don't go there, girl. Girl, don't go there. <laughs> let's see. Um, yeah. Candy. Uh, who else am I missing? I said, how did Julie? Oh, yeah. These butterflies, this, this, uh, these are from um, Catherine Anderson's. Uh, if you go on, uh, if you go on uh, Amazon and look for Catherine Anderson collage books, you'll find, I think she has maybe 10 or 12. I don't know how many. I probably have bought all of them at some time or another. I think that these are from her newest one. Um, vintage, I don't remember what it's called, vintage something, I think, but just go to look under Catherine Anderson collage on Amazon and you'll find, uh, you'll find her stuff. The other book I pulled here, but just because it's got so much in it is the extraordinary things to cut out and collage. And we've used this book, you know, um, but anyway, uh, I just, I'll probably use some stuff out of this. And of course I use paint. And the paint I use is just uh, Deco Art Americana Craft Paint, matte, matte craft paint. And the reason I like to use matte craft paint is because then if I want to do anything with pencil, color pencil, then it then color pencil will go over your uh, matte craft paint. Okay, uh, so I've got tons of uh, probably every color of uh, Deco Art color. So, and then I have a little bit of happy mail. I'll show you a couple things I'm working on. I did get this from our Barb Vark, <laughs> Barb Owen. And um, she's on, she's How to Get Creative with Barb Owen. And um, she streams every Friday afternoon, I think around 2 Eastern and uh, on YouTube. And uh, so there's uh, How to Get Creative. And this, she did um, one of her cats for me. Wrote me a nice little little note. And so this will go in. Uh, I already had a, I started a fib page for her yesterday. But I think I'm going to have to put this on top of her mandala card because I love this cat. <laughs> but then I'll also put her business card in there. So every time we flip through, um, every time we uh, uh, go through um, the fibs book, you know, you'll see. You'll see it. So that will go in my uh, fibs book. Let me set that to the side. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and get started with the, uh, I'll, I'll try to repeat the information again. And then if y'all have any other questions, 
uh, if I haven't answered them, I'll answer them. If I have answered them, then maybe one of the fibs can answer it for you or, uh, you know, Pecola, Julie, and maybe Janet. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to run through it real quick. So we, the idea is for you to make three, three art cards that are three by four. Okay. The theme is fantasy gardens. You send me three. I send you two back because I'm keeping one in a compile, you know, compiling them in some kind of a book or a booklet or something. But I'm going to keep one from each of you. And then two will go to two different people and you will get two back. You need to send a self-addressed stamped envelope, a business size, okay, a business size um, self-addressed stamped envelope with at least two, if not three stamps. I would like you to put three on there because, you know, some people might, you know, get a little crazy and pile stuff on. <laughs> but uh, I do take them to the post office and make, and I weigh, you know, have them weighed and everything. So to make sure everything gets back, but, you know, at least two, maybe three stamps uh, with your self-addressed stamped envelope folded in there. International, I will pay for your return postage because I know, you know, unless unless you can get an international return stamps, which would be great. But if you can't, I'll pay for your postage back. OK, um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. The cards do not have to be the same. You can send three different variations of whatever you want <coughs> as long as they're. Uh, fantasy gardens is the theme. I'm looking at all my notes here. Here's my PO box. This is where you send them. This is where you'll send them. My PO box is also in my description, in my uh, channel description. It's in my, um, you know, information. But here it is. That's my the PO box where you will send them to. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? Is there anything else that I? Let me put those away. Anything else that here's here's some that I've already cut down. Just just regular card stock. They're just card stock. This is what I make my art cards on. Okay. It doesn't have to be any certain weight, but you know, make it make them pretty. You know, make them nice. You know, don't just put it on a piece of you know through notebook paper. <laughs> you know, if all, if all you got is notebook paper, then glue some sheets together and make it a little more substantial. Okay, so do, is there, does that answer the main questions? I'm sure there's going to be more, but I'm looking at my list here. <coughs> oh, it's due, due February 17th. I have to have them by February 17th. That gives you a little over a month to get them made and to me. So if you are international, give yourself an, you know, give yourself that week. Get started on them. Give yourself a week, a week and a half to get them to me by February 17th. And I will get them, swap them out, and mail them all back in a, within a week. Okay? So don't dilly-dally, dawdle, <laughs> lollygag. <laughs> uh, yeah, so get them to me. Thank you. There we go, Pacola. Okay, so let's see. Uh, how can I? Oh, I don't. I can't pin this, Pacola. I can't pin this from um, Streamyard. I'm I'm not on YouTube to be able to pin that. There's no uh, thing to pin it. But yeah, uh, that I see. Um, you know. But anyway, um, I will I will put that information in. I'll put the information in um, what Pacola just said. I will put that information in the description box so everybody has the information. Okay. I'll, I'll put that in under, under this video at the end of the day. Okay. So she, here she's putting the stuff right there. Okay. So Pacola's on it. <laughs> Okay, so and again, I will I will uh, put that information under the video later. Let me make a self a note for that. Uh, put Pacola info description after video renders. Okay, 
I've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've already got eight or nine. <laughs> I've already got eight or nine uh, post-it notes right here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pacola. And I will uh, put the address again right with the information. Okay. All right. Um, oh, well, good. Good, Lynette. And, you know, it doesn't matter. You can do it however you want. If you're a scrappy style person, do it scrappy style. If you want to paint it, draw it, ink it, sketch it, whatever you like to do, you do it in your style. Okay. You do it in your style. They don't have to be the same, but they do have to be three by four. Send me three. You get two back. I'm keeping one to compile in our, in a little book. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right. So I think that answers all the questions. So now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a few more. Um, it's just cardstock. All right, I have enough here to do it. I'm just going to show you, you know, how I cut cut them up. So if you take up eight and a half by 11, and I'm going to do two at a time because I could really do more, but I'm going to do two at a time on my cutter. So if you take an eight and a half by 11, this is, I think this is the way to get the most out. There may be another pattern to get more out of, but what I do is I cut it at four inches, cut it again at four inches, and then you have three inches left so then you just turn this and you can get one more out of here Whoops. and another one out of here. So you can get two off the side cut. So that's four. Well, it's two. I'm, I'm doubling up. And then you've got these that you cut four inches and you just turn these sideways and cut these at three. Okay. And then you have this little piece left that's just under three. So I just put these aside and use it for scrap paper. All right. You know, there's a, probably a couple of different ways you can cut them. And uh, let's see. Uh, any more questions? All right. So I've got some cards cut. Again, I've got, you know, my craft paints. And I did pull some collage stuff this morning just so I'm not digging through my big bins. My big bins. <laughs> I'm not digging through my big bins to uh, find some um, gardening stuff. I just wanted, I pulled these two to show you that Katherine Anderson has some cool books. She has doors, windows, portals. This is her vintage. This is her newest one, her newest book. And this, and by the way, the books are eight and a half by 11 or they're, they're about, they're this size. I've cut them all down. So her books are large. They're a full sheet like this. This is just one cut down. I, I don't even know if these are off the same sheet, but um, it is a full size book, right? All her books are, um, you know, eight by 10, whatever, eight and a half by 11, that size. And uh, <clears throat> then I also pulled my things to cut out in collage, which y'all know this has tons of stuff. You can get this on Amazon. This is put out by Maria Rivens. So, and you don't have to have any of this stuff, you know, cut some flowers out of a magazine, draw them, paint them, whatever you want to do. Okay, so let's see. Let's make sure my chat doesn't get fro froze up. Um, I also have these sticker books. So if you have stickers, you can, you know, I I don't like that they have like white um, edges on them. So I either trim my stickers down or I paint paint them out, paint out the white edges. That's just me. You do whatever you want. It's your it's your uh, your art cards. The other things that I got, I did get a couple other things. I did get a. a um, I have another order coming from, let's see, her name is Selena uh, at, Am and I know y'all are making fun of me. I didn't see it till later when I went back. I went back and read that chat and you guys were making fun of me that I did not know that Amor, Amor Fabrics, Fabrics was a different, some, I thought it was a two different things and y'all are putting that in the chat. So it's a M O U R F A B R I Q U E S. 
and it's the same <laughs> y'all were making fun of me okay am i frozen let me do a test here I, my chat is not moving my chat is not moving can somebody say something in chat because i see that my time is moving but my chat is not moving why is my chat not moving let's see let me put something in here why is my chat not moving i don't know why my chat because I know this is way too long. There it goes. Okay, not frozen. All right, thank you. Thanks, guys. Not frozen. All right, it just kind of stuck for a second, I guess. So anyway, uh, this was two different orders. I ordered some boho fabric, and I ordered some of this um, Indian um, decorative pieces. And I also have another order on the way where she had a daily deal, and that's on the way. Probably be here I don't know, this week. And uh, so that'll be, I have a plan for this. I'm not telling y'all what it is. I'm not telling you. I know I tell y'all everything. I'm not telling y'all this yet. Y'all have to wait and see. This is something different. Okay. But anyway, uh, her name is Selena. She does have a YouTube channel. If Pacola, I'm, I'm saying that loud because she'll be the only one. <laughs> now, Julie might put it in there. Um, but anyway, um, there it is. <laughs> Her name is A M O U R F A B R I Q U E S. Is the name of it's her channel, and it there and there's it's her Etsy, and she also thank you, Pacola. It she has an Etsy shop, she has a YouTube channel. I think she has a Facebook group, but y'all know I, I can't get into too many Facebook groups, I just don't have time. So, but anyway, I'm going to show you this. And she sent me this little, she has sent a little note. She goes, I sent you a little pin key. It's a pin and it's a key. Isn't that cute? So, um, yes, she included that in there. <laughs> I know, uh, I know, Wakala. <laughs> no, I'm not making a quilt. No quilts. No quilts. Um, but a nice try. Nice try, some big jerk. So this is um, a stack of um, like boho, like slow stitched fabric. And I'm just going to kind of flip through it here so you can kind of see. And uh, this is this was one of the kit. Well, if you want to call it a kit, this is one of the orders that I put in. I, I ordered two different things. These are two different things. And then I have another daily deal coming uh, probably this week. So this is the boho fabric. And um, yeah, so I'll show you that. And then this is the little um, Indian from India swatches. Um, and they're just really cute. They're really pretty. And I ordered some more. The Daily Deal that I bought, um, I don't know, it's about a week or two ago. The uh, Daily Deal had this kind of stuff in it too. Don't lose the key. You won't be able to open the front door. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you can see they're just little pieces. They're just little pieces of embroidered, um, you know, little jewels, little stitched, little sequins. And they're just, everyone's different. Everyone is different. And I do have a plan for these, and I will show it uh, when later. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... But it's really pretty, isn't it, guys? And uh, and she was real quick about getting it sent out. Again, if you follow her on, follow her YouTube channel, because that's where she shows. That's where she shows the daily. Uh, well, I don't know if it's literally daily. I don't think it's literally daily. But it's called a daily, uh, a daily um, bargain or whatever. And... Uh, so if you follow her channel and ring the bell so you know when she makes a new video and you can see her new fabrics. So I was really happy with it. I was real happy with it. And they're not that, you know, they're not expensive. I mean, they're not, you know, I don't know what y'all would think is expensive or not, you know, but you can go over to her Etsy that Pacola put in there a minute ago. And then Pacola put the link to the botanical, the botanist rather, sticker anthology. I know they are, aren't they? They are beautiful. Okay, so hi, hi, Hannah. I just saw I, Hannah pop in. I know, Tracy, they are very nice fabrics. And uh, so let's see. Michelle. I uh, see Michelle said hi to she spins. I didn't see Juanita come in, but hi, Juanita. 
Okay, so here's the deal. One more quick time before I start making my some cards here. The, the card swap is three, three cards. Three, they're three by four. They're not ATCs. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. These are three by four. You're going to make three cards with the theme of fantasy gardens. Any mediums you want. It can be paint. It can be collage. It can be uh, drawing, sketching, inking. It can be anything you want. It just has to be the theme of fantasy gardens. You make three. I'm keeping one in our in a book. And then you will get two different people. You're going to get two different peoples and, and somebody else, two other people will get yours. So you don't, two people, I mean, one person doesn't get two of yours. One to here and one to here. Okay. You have to have them to me by just um, February 17th, February 17th. They're due. And then I will swap them out within a week. Here's my PO box. Send them here. Send a self-addressed stamp. Where did it go? Self-addressed stamp business size envelope. I know they're a little bit different size international. That's fine, but send to the you know send this size with and and put at least two to three stamps on it, including the one that's going back to you. It's better to put an extra stamp on it, guys. Pay that extra fifty cents or whatever to make sure that it gets back to you safely, right? So two to three stamps on your self-addressed stamped envelope, international. I will pay to send them back to you. Okay. All right. Um, I think that is. I think that's everything. I'm looking at all my post-it notes again. Do they need to tell you they are participating? No, you do not need to tell me that you are participating. Uh, that you know, you don't need to tell me when you when I get your when I get your envelope, I'll know. <laughs> and I will. Um, I will show them. I will show them as they come in during my live shows. I will show them, and then uh, I will show all the ones that you know on the seventeenth, which is a Wednesday. I will show. Let me do it. Let me write down show and tell. Show and tell. Okay. Now I'm not going to sit here and, and swap them for you in front of you. Like, oh, so Janet sent me this one and this one's going to Kenny and Kenny sent me this one and this one's going to Pacola. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to show you that, but I will show you all the cards as they come in. Okay. Every, I'll do it at the beginning of every stream, you know, which is only going to be what that's uh, four more weeks. So that's eight more videos, eight, eight, nine videos or so eight or nine videos, which I don't expect anybody to get me one by Monday. So, uh, you know, about eight videos. I'll, I will show them as they come in and tell and show and tell them. I love doing that. Okay. But you do not have to email me or message me or anything, you know, uh, just send them, just send them. Okay. So let's see. All right, so I'm going to make, I'll probably, I'm going to go ahead and make about six of them today. Oh, I do have one more thing to show that I'm working on. So I'm working on um, a giant sunflower print. And um, I did paint the background, but the rest of it I'm doing in, let me go ahead and stop and do this real quick. Hang on. So I'm working on this print, <laughs> and it's all in ballpoint pen except the back is paint that's paint right that's just black acrylic paint and the star splatter that's acrylic paint but all the sunflower is going to be done and i just started it last night all the sunflower is going to be done if i like it when it turns out i'll make this a thank you print but i'm going to do it all it's all going to be in ballpoint pen. It's all in a big pen right so let me let me zoom in just a second so you can see So I'm going to do all the shading, all the lines, all of this is going to be, you know, this is all, all pen, you know, it's just all ballpoint pen. <clears throat> so, and I just started it last night. This is, you know, this isn't a long, a long time on here yet. And then the outer, these out here are going to be more bigger seeds. 
these are going to be bigger seeds out here. So I got the dark here, a medium here, and then I'm going to have seeds out here. And I'll go around each one. I'll go around each one and shade and do each one. And then uh, <clears throat> all the shading here on each petal. Now I'm going to do I'm going to do something here. We're going to see if it works. Just a second. I'm just going to work on a petal or two real quick. So you'd be surprised how much you can shade. <coughs> Sorry. Hi, Kathy A. Hi, Barb Chicken Pot Pie Society. Okay. So uh, if y'all remember my. Uh, Inktober, my monster, my movie monsters, my way. If y'all remember those, and they're on my Instagram, and they, uh, I have videos on on some of them that I did on live stream. But I did uh, thirty one monsters, all in all in ballpoint pen. I did it all in ballpoint pen, uh, and uh, well, I, I take that back. I did some. I did ink. I did some black painted ink with just, uh, you know, dip, dip, I mean, ink, you know, a bottle of ink uh, for some of the flat blacks, like the big flat areas, but all the details and all that, it was all done with a ballpoint pen. So let me just do a petal or two here. And uh, y'all can, if anybody comes in and wants to know about the um, art card swap, then feel free to answer questions. And uh, so you can see how I'm going to do do this. And then I'm going to want some darker, some darker detail. So I'm going to, if this doesn't work, I'll just start over this. You know, I'm going to try something. All right. So I'm going to have the whole thing is going to be in black and white, except now let me back out again. Okay. I want the whole sunflower to be in black and white, but this right here, y'all want me to be brave? <laughs> y'all want me to be brave? Let me get a... Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. This my little My little stopper's not working very good. Let me just pour some in here. Okay. That should be enough because I'm going to water it down just a little. Just a little watered down because I don't want to completely lose. Of course, I can always go back and add anything I want. But let's see if this works. Let me get a nice, big, soft brush. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm going to do? All right. So here we go. Move this to the side. All right. So let's see if we can do this. I don't know if it's going to work. All right. And if it's not bright enough, I will put another coat on. So here's where the color gets added. Okay, I think it's going to need like the second coat. I might have to let it dry and then put that second coat on. Okay. All right, let me move this to the side so no cats step in it. There we go. What do y'all think? You think that's gonna look cool? You think that's gonna look cool? I think it's gonna look cool. <laughs> so anyway, there's gonna be a giant sunflower, <laughs> and um, with just the the one uh, color hitting it like that. Thanks, Miss Gigi. <laughs> So I'll let y'all see it when it's done, but I just, uh, just work on it and doodle on it, you know, here and there. Again, it's all, it's all done with, uh, 
just a ballpoint pen and uh I don't want to get into the yellow right there. It's kind of drippy still. And I just uh, do the whole thing. I'm not going to make y'all watch me do this whole thing. I just want to kind of show you. Yeah, if you if you didn't if you've never seen my movie monsters, go look on my Instagram from not this past uh, uh, October Inktober, but Inktober a year ago, Inktober. This last year I did the insects, but go back a year to uh, Inktober because I've done Inktober now five years, and uh, no six. Is, was this last year my sixth year to do it? Anyway, um, where I did all my movie monsters with a ballpoint pen. All right, so now I'm going to set this aside, and uh, I'll work on it later. But you can kind of see there. All right, let's put that aside where the cats won't get on it. All righty. All right, so now we're going to go move on to our art cards, and I, I think I'm going to do six of them. You always do. Oh, thanks, Elmer Almaris. Thank you. Um, but uh, oh, thanks, Pacola. Yeah, my my Instagram is Inky Well, but if you put in Dee Dee Willingham, you'll find me. But it's Inky Well with an I. But uh, if you put in my name, you'll find me as well. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom in. One, maybe two. Let's see, well, probably one for now. All right. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Let me move my fabrics out of the way. I'm going to want to do it with my little, oh, put this and this key together so I know it's all together. All righty. But I do have a project for that, but I'm not going to tell y'all yet. i got to leave a little bit of mystery there, right? <laughs> oh, let me put down a piece of wax paper. Okay. So, I'm going to do six of them. Tracy gets one because it's her birthday. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to tilt this down just a little toward me. There we go. So, I'm going to work on six different ones. I have no plan. No, let me turn this over so that the curl of the wax paper is facing down. There we go. <clears throat> and I do need to go get me something to drink in a minute. So, all right. There we go. All right. If you all have any questions... Oh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry. What can't we do? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about, but okay. My mods are my mods are in charge. All right, so I'm gonna stack these up. Again, the cards are three by four. Um, let me let me go ahead and measure you out. Here, I'll show you what the difference is. So a, an ATC is two and a half by three and a half. So let me show you the difference. Because these are not artist trading card size. They're just art card size. But I want you all to see the difference. Okay. This is an, a regular ATC. That. That's two by two and a half by three. Well, no, that's even two by, it's even a little bit littler. It has to be three and a half. There we go. That it, this right there is an artist trading card size. Right, this is an art card size, so it's a little bit bigger. It just gives you a little bit more real estate than an artist trading card. Although, if you are into artist trading cards, which I was for some years, uh, for about four years, I was in um, major swaps and hosting swaps and everything. And I've got binders and binders. I won't get them out now because most of y'all have seen them. Um, full of artist trading cards. Now, the, the good thing about doing an artist trading card is you can get the baseball card sleeves that have the nine pockets and you can store them in a nine pocket, just like you do a baseball card, you know. Uh, you want their name on the back. Yeah, it, 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 yes. You don't put your address, your phone number, your email or any of that you don't want, okay? And if you just want like some big jerk, doesn't have to put his real name, he can just put some big jerk. 
but if you but at least put on the back of the card your screen name you know like pacola you know or whatever you know put something on the back and thank you pacola let me write that down put some name on back Because later, here's here's why. If I put if I'm going to put them all in a you know in our little collection, then later on I'm going to show a card and we won't know who who made it. I have no idea. And I'm not going to go and put everybody's names on everything. So make sure you do that. That's thank you, Pacola. Yes, thank you so much. Hi, Dan, Dandria. Dandria, welcome. Oh, da, 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 da. and yeah and then then people will know who's you got as well so like janet knows she got so and so's or judy knows she's got you know that way yeah so put your name of even if it's just your screen name you know you don't have to put your real name and your phone number and you know i mean if you want to share your email or your etsy put that on there if you want you know that's fine you know tape your business card to the or well glue Put your business card on the back. That's fine. If, as long as you don't care who gets it. Because here's the thing. I'm going to decide who gets what. <laughs> so if you don't want a stranger getting your business card, then don't put it on there. Just put, you know, Kalura or whatever, right? You know. Hi, Boneyard. How you doing? So does that make sense? I hate saying that because everybody says, does that make sense? That's one of those things you just, you know, you just don't like to say because it's like the popular thing to say. Like for a long time, it was problematic. <laughs> I just swore I'd never use that. Well, I, it's the same kind of thing, you know, does that make sense? And then we all do it. We all say it. So I'm calling myself out too. So don't email me. But I just don't like to say that. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. So let's see. And then again, the self-addressed stamped envelope. Put at least two if you think it's going to need three because your card's a little bit bulkier Then put three. You know what? You just just be careful. Make sure you have enough postage. Again, if you're international, I will pay for it to go back. But don't forget your self-addressed stamped envelope. Well, your self-addressed envelope. I'll put the stamp on it if you're international. But don't make me write out your address. Please don't make me write out your addresses. But put the, your own address that's going back to you, wherever you want it sent back to, put that here. And if you're international, I will pay for the postage back. Okay? If you're not international, then put three stamps on it. <laughs> I would recommend. You can put two and hope, you know, but I'd rather, you know, let's be extra careful. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. I see nothing in cap, so I'm going to move on. All right, so again, the theme is Fantasy Gardens. I have not planned or anything. Uh, I did pull some collage stuff. Now, y'all know I do a collage a couple different ways. When I'm doing an altered book, like in my abandoned books, I've already got something to work with. There's already something on the book to, to reverse collage out, uh, to, you know, uh, paint out and reverse the collage process in my abandoned altered books. So you can do it that way, or you can just start from scratch when you're doing a collage. Again, this is my, my way of doing my cards. You can paint, you can draw, you can ink, you can pencil, you can do your cards any way you want. Okay, Pacola. So uh, I'm just, I pulled some, I did pull some different collage fodder here just to, you know, have something to get started. Um, this is from a calendar. Uh, I might start with a little bit of this. Um, and, and I'm going to try to do them kind of um, co con consistently because it makes it easier when you're doing multiples. You don't have to do them. Uh, you don't have to do them any similar. You can do them completely different. That's totally up to you. I'm just going to try to make a bunch in, in one whack here, right? So <laughs> I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of, um, you know, do it, do it, do it my way. So let's see, do I want that this way, this way? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> So let's see. Yes, three by four inch, Juanita. 
three by four inch art cards. Yeah. Um, all right. And then y'all know I love the element of time. Maybe I'll do some, let's see, maybe I'll do some arches. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Again, it's garden. It's, you know, fantasy garden. So you can do whatever you want. I'm winging this, people. I'm making it up as I go. All right, let me get my scissors here. And then I glue everything down with golden matte medium. That's what I use for color. Again, guys, don't, don't misunderstand. You do not have to do collage cards. Okay? You do not have to do collage cards. That's just my, my medium of choice. You do your, your cards in any way you want. Paint, pencil, ink, you collage, whatever you want. Okay? You can do whatever you want. <clears throat> So I'm just going to kind of play around. So, and I glue everything down with golden matte medium, like I said. Just one card. No, Moreski, you make three. You make three and you get back two because I'm keeping one in a collection. So you send me three, you get back two from two different people. And then two of your cards go to two different people and I keep one. Okay, for the, for the, uh, what do you call it? The the book, you know, the collection. So that we can go back and look at them whenever we want. I like that little mushroom effect there. Let's see my do. Let's do another one like that. So just be thinking about what kind of, uh, you know, fancy garden you want to do. And this is, I'm just getting some ideas here. I'm, I can move these around 10 times if I want. I don't know. I'm just kind of right now just, you know, laying out some, uh, some of my favorite themes, which like time. Y'all know I love my element of time and I'm making six of them so you know you can you know they don't all have to be different like when I'm just making um, some space ones or here's some of the other ones that I've made I showed earlier um, you know they have a similar theme I love the element of time I like water uh, I like mist I like you know space stars planets that kind of thing like this, you know, but they're all different. But usually when I do a, a set like this, I try to do them like, like lots of blue and, and, uh, and, you know, yellow ochre, you know, something like that. Cause it makes it easier when you're doing a bunch to, you know, I have to switch paint colors every five minutes, you know? <clears throat> so I'm just, cut, I'm just digging through here. Maybe I'll move this over just a little. You can see me digging here a little bit. There's some uh, rock, uh, water, but I've got enough green on there. So let's see. I need one more. I need one more mushroom top. I like this one. If you have questions, put it in caps. Because that's what I'm, when I glance up at the chat, I'm looking for caps. All right, so let's see. Let's start there. Let's start with that. And then this one, maybe the same kind of thing. Or maybe that's too big. Let's see. I've got some more in here. There's some planets. Love me some planets. I don't know if I want blue and yellow. That might be good. Yeah, well, I'll hold that out. Y'all know I make planets out of uh, I make planets out of marbles. <laughs> marbles are good. Oh, the other thing too, if you like, you know, different kinds. Like I love to put planets in here. Sometimes I don't have a, you know, a uh, a marble handy. I've if I've lost all my marbles, <laughs> then use a punch. 
like let me show you here i'll just get around. and punches come in different sizes i gave almost all my punches away i kept a, a square two circles i kept a couple but you can make um look see there now you got a planet right there Let's see so just you can just punch something out um, thanks, Pacola. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this one. Maybe a square. And that can be something, or, you know, I don't usually keep too many like this because I've got so much, you know, collage fodder. So, um, hi, Mary. Yes, Mary, the, the theme of the art card swap, which I've gone over, and I will put the information in the description box uh, after the video. The theme is Fantasy Gardens. You can do it any any way you want. It just has to be two by three. You send me three, you get two back. So let's see. What else do I want? Of course, I'm going to want flowers. And, you know, I've got I've got these, you know, florals in here. I've got my um, I've got my botanist sticker book. We have the antiquarian sticker book, you know. Just, you know, however you put yours together. And you don't have to use stickers. You don't have, you can draw, you can paint, you can do whatever you want. I kind of try to make things as easy as possible on the stream. I know my collages, the big collages, posters and stuff can get complicated. But when I do something like this, I want everybody to chill and, you know. All right, so we got some butterflies here. I don't really want that dark, dark brown one. But I like these two. I like this blue and this green one. And I like this orange and this blue one. These two right here. And whenever I do things like butterflies or any kind of bugs that have like antenna, or is that antennae? <laughs> I, um, I don't try to cut around that. I just draw them in later. Okay. Bye, Terry. All right, so I'm going to fussy cut a few things out here. Um, when you fussy cut, make sure you move you move the thing you're cutting, the item you're cutting. Don't try to do this around like that. You, if you just hold your scissors practically still, hold your scissors just kind of still and just kind of close them while you're moving the paper, you're going to get a much more accurate cut, and it's so much easier to fussy cut by moving the, the item rather than moving the scissors. Just hold your scissors kind of in one place and just do this. Just close the scissors. And uh, it's so much easier. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to want one on each, if I'm going to want one, how I'm going to want it yet. But I'm just kind of just kind of playing around right now. Not not really, um, you know, composition. I'm just kind of laying out what some of the items that I want. Um, you know, when you when you're just throwing down your ideas, you know, just throw them down there. You can move things around. And then once you go to glue something down. Uh, especially depending on how complicated your collage is, it's always best to have another substrate handy. Uh, in other words, um, don't try to like, you know, take this off and just have an extra one. <coughs> have one, sorry. Have an extra one to the side that you can put the glue on and then move things to it as you go rather than trying to, you know, remember where everything is. Or if it's real complicated, you can take a photo with your phone, take a photo with your phone, and then refer back to your picture on your phone. Um, they have to be here by February 17th, Mary. I have all my posts, <laughs> so I can just hold this up. Yeah, they're due February 17th. Here's my P.O. box. All this will be in the description underneath this video after it renders on YouTube. Okay? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, 
All right. So let's see. I don't want the brown one. So let's go to this boy one. And uh, again, the these these little butterflies came off of um, this came off of a sheet out of uh, Catherine Anderson's collage books, which again you can find those on Amazon. And then the other book I'm using here is the Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage by Maria Rivens, also on Amazon, and the Botanist Sticker Anthology. And it's also on Amazon. <laughs> And no, I'm not affiliate. I, I don't have an Amazon affiliate. Pacola is always mad at me about that. But um, <laughs> and I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody's paying me to do this. <laughs> Just doing it out of the love of my heart. <laughs> you're welcome, Mary. Hope you're doing well. And uh, hope everybody is hanging in there. All right. So then thanks everybody for the um, 153 people here. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see. I might want that on top. All right. One more little butterfly. If y'all don't follow Mary, y'all need, if, if y'all like, um, eclectic a little of everything <laughs> uh mary is i call her my queen of the society of idea collector N nobody does more variety and different things i don't think than mary i mean there probably is somebody so don't email me but you know mary has such a variety of things on her channel next to me <laughs> because we do try to do a lot of different things here all right, so let's see. Do I want this one? Do I want this one there? Hmm. Just making them each a little different, you know, a little variety. Okay, so then I have some butterfly wings, these large ones. Let's see. Do I, I, need, uh, I need two more. So let's go with this orange one here. <clears throat> go with this orange one. Bye, Kalora. Thank you. Thanks so much. A good one. I know, right? Right, Jazzy? I know. Mary's awesome. Um, hi, Elaine. Anybody else I missed? All right. So let's go ahead and I'm going to cut this one in half just for the wings. I just want the wings on this one. And I might, you know... Um, get a little person. You know, I don't put a lot of people in my collages, but every now and then I'll do it, you know, just because people like to have people like people um, <laughs> like people on the collages. And that one going there somewhere. So sometimes I do my, and I, I always say this, but when I do my collages, my, or any of my uh, mixed media collage type thing. I like you to be the person in the in the piece. So you are the person in there. The viewer, right? The viewer is the person in there. So then this might go over here a little bit more to the side like this or something. We'll see. Something like that. And of course, I'm going to paint it all in after I glue it down. I'm going to paint it in. All right, so do I want any of this? The blue and yellow might work on a couple of them. I might take two of them here. Because you know they're gonna, there's going to be outer space in here. Y'all know that, right? There's going to be planet planets and nebulization and, you know, my garden my garden's going to be, you know, it's just going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Right. <clears throat> so what's everybody else been doing? Have y'all been working on anything? How many of y'all are doing Janet scavenger hunt? How many of y'all are doing that? Here come the cats. I don't want them up here. How many of y'all are doing Janet's scavenger hunt? 
Okay, there's a couple of blue ones. So let's see what else. Mm, do I, I mean, maybe I have some leftover uh, papers. This is I'm gonna get my punch back out, at least to make the circle, then I can cut the circle down. I see you, baby. I really don't want you up here. All right, so let's see. I'm just kind of looking around here, maybe right, right there. I'm gonna need three or four of them. Maybe right. I don't really want a horizon on it, but maybe. Okay, so they're too big. So, but now I've at least got a circle to work with. You found your scavenger hunt list and book from which one, Mary? From what? From Janet's? Or from what another one you did? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. But if y'all haven't gone over to Janet's and done her, her scavenger hunt. Let's see, you need a little bit more orange on that side like that. Maybe even a little bit more orange. That one may be. Let me trim this one down. All right. Get get down. Get down, baby girl. We're gonna have to get down. <clears throat> I might have to lock them out. Uh, let's see. No, I don't see anything else in caps. Put it, put it in caps if you're talking to me. If you're not talking to me, don't put it in caps, guys. Because then I think you're talking to me, and then I try to go back and go, what are they talking about? <laughs> All right, let's see. I need one, something here. Do I want one of these? This one's getting a little busy. Maybe just a little bit of a... Something like that. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Hi, Donna. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and start and glue this stuff down and start painting it. And then maybe, let's see what else. Let me look in my, let me look in my sticker books here. Let me just move this up. See what else I might like in here. Because remember, the theme of the swap is Fantasy Garden. So I'll probably want to glue this down and then, you know, because I like to paint, paint my stars and everything in. And then maybe add a little butterfly or a little bug, a little bug or something. But I can't do that till I paint in the background because I don't want to paint around little tiny bugs. Like little tiny ladybugs and stuff like that. I don't want to paint around stuff like that. So I think I'm going to start with this. I'm going to just start with this. All right. Um, all right. Let me take a quick break real quick, guys. And um, before I start getting out the glues and stuff, where the cats go. I'll be right back.
much not time for lunch yet. All right. Okay, let me take a sip of my cranberry juice. Keep that away from where the cats might jump up. All right. Oh, I do have one other thing to show you. After I do this, guys, remind me to show you the paper. Well, let me put make a note. Paper clay. Remember, I um, accidentally bought the mold, the, um, you know, the clay mold or resin mold from Zandra. Uh, I accidentally bought that instead of stamps. Um, well, I thought I found some paper clay at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to show you all that. So let me make a, let me put that to the side. So after we do this, I'll show you that. I just looked over here to the side and saw it. All right. So let me get out some golden matte medium. This is almost empty. So I'm going to stock back up. Um, let me find it here. All right. So I'm just, this is all dry acrylic. So I can just put the, the, um, golden matte medium on top so I'm just going to pour a little bit out to glue things down and I always keep a, a bag a plastic something over the lid and then put the lid on because otherwise you're going to glue the lid to the jar and you don't want to do that but this is what I use golden matte medium you can get smaller jars than this guys don't have to get this giant jar I think Janet got this for me last year um but uh I go through a lot of matte medium because I do, oops, I do a lot of collage. Let me put that lid back on. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote a note. I wrote a note, some picture. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's put that there for now. As long as the cats don't get over there. All right. And then I have uh, brushes that I keep in water. Only my glue brushes stay in water. Let me get a small one here. I have a, when my acrylic uh, brushes get really bad, then they, they, then they become my glue brushes. And uh, so I keep those, those are the only brushes I keep in water. And then I get my baby wipes here. I use uh, Huggies Natural Baby Wipes because there's no, there's no soap in them. You know, so when you do this, you don't feel like going, you know, soapy. So, <laughs> all right, so let's see if there's any questions. Don't stock back up, please. Don't stock back up. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I won't stock back up. <laughs> I go, through, I'm telling you guys, I go through. I know I'll, while I'm gluing these down. Oh, and then the other thing you need is some kind of a card, a gift card or something to, you know, smash everything down as you go. I, I'll go ahead and tell you this story again while I'm gluing this stuff down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one card here and move this over. And this isn't all I'm going to put on here, but it's a start. So what you want to do is take one of the cards. You don't have to move this. You can just kind of leave it there while you... Um, start uh, putting, the, you know, you can just move it over like one item at a time rather than trying to, uh, and this isn't too bad because there's only four or five things. But if you have a big collage where you got, you know, tons of stuff on there, you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to kind of transfer it over. And I always put the, the matte medium on the card or the substrate on the back of the piece and then over the top, let's see, do I want this one centered? Yeah, I think I do. So I'm kind of just kind of deciding as I go. Okay. But anyway, um, you know, I've done collage for a lot of years and I, I love my golden matte medium. And one of the things that's nice about golden matte medium is especially in art journals, as long as you let it dry completely, now there's some right here on my, I'm just going to pull that off the edge there. As long as you let it dry completely, uh, it won't stick your pages together. Where some other products stick pages together, um, Golden Matte Medium will not stick your pages together. Okay, so can y'all see, do I need to, maybe if I should zoom in one more. Let's see here, let's zoom in one more. Let's brighten up just a tad there. There we go. 
And so anyway, I don't know if Golden still has their artist program where they would uh, send you like off, I don't say off, you know, things that extra, they had leftovers or whatever. <laughs> they would send you, uh, they would send you stuff that you need as long as you would like promote them. I mean, you know, they weren't sponsoring you, but they would send you stuff and they would just say, well, do you have a video? Do you have a YouTube? Do you have a blog? You know, that kind of thing back when, and this, I'm talking years and years ago, guys, I can't even tell you how many years ago. So um, I signed up for it and you, you have to fill out a bunch of stuff and then they would, and they may still do this. I don't know. You can go on golden right now. I don't know if they're doing it right now with everything, you know. Um, so I would, uh, I think I just want part of this wing. Where's my scissors? They would, um, you just have to pay the shipping. You would just have to pay the shipping and uh, they would send you stuff that you requested. Well, the only thing, I didn't request paint. I didn't request inks. I didn't request brushes. <laughs> I didn't request anything from Golden except their matte medium. So they said, yeah, we got, we got, we'll send you some. And, and I don't know if, how, uh, you know, again, I don't know their policies, their procedures. I don't know any of that stuff, right? <laughs> and this, again, was years ago. So they said, okay, well, we'll send you some. You just have to pay the shipping. I said, okay, well, how much shipping? Because I didn't know how much they were going to send. And they said, it's going to be, it'll be uh, 25 I think it was $25, $25 or $30. So I gave them my credit card and said, okay, there you go. It'll be, and they said, I think they said it'll be, I don't know, maybe it was a month. I don't know. I forget how long. Again, years ago, guys, don't quote me on any of the dates because I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> So, yeah, this is, yes, exactly. This is how Julie, this is how I got to be Golden's girl. So about a month later, however long it was, um, I got a delivery and it was two huge boxes, two huge boxes of Golden Matte Medium. It, it wasn't that, that that big jar that I showed you. They were about this big. The jars were about this big, you know, that size, like that size. Not that big one I just showed you. And so I did an unboxing at the time. This was back on Ustream. I don't think that video is on YouTube. It was back when I, uh, we were on Ustream. Yeah, it was at, yeah, it was on Ustream. Exactly, Juanita. So I think each each box had was it 24 in each box i think it was 24 in each box so i think i had 48 jars of golden matte medium was that the mailman oh i didn't get my mail out of no it's just a, i got a couple things to run out and put in the mail i'm gonna have to do that in, in within a few minutes guys have to i have a couple things to throw out in the mail my mailman usually doesn't come till at least noon, but you know, the one day I have stuff that I want to get mailed out, then I'll, and <laughs> then I don't have it. So anyway, I got 20, I think it was 24 <laughs> jars of golden matte medium. And again, this was some years ago, but I have used every bit of that and probably twice as much in my uh, collage time on Ustream and YouTube, which has been 10 years. So in 10 years, I have used <laughs> probably at 20, those 24 and probably that much more <laughs> in golden matte medium. <laughs> so, yeah. Just saying. It is definitely my glue of choice. And I didn't want anything else from golden. All I wanted was my matte medium. <laughs> this is just the initial part of my cards. I'm just getting the, you know, the main idea down. And then each one might have a little bit different something, something uh, going on, you know, flowers or something else. But I just want to kind of have it, uh, I want to have the, uh, base 
Okay, so that's three of them there. So now let's move on. Just keep shuffling them over. Hi, Melinda. Lurk away. Lurk away. Let's stay in the middle here. We'll make our little make our little worlds here. Move that one right to the edge. And I think again I'm going to do the same with this one. Don't be afraid to cut things down. Don't be afraid to paint over things. Don't be afraid to paint over the top of things when you get to the painting stage. I want this a little thinner. This a little thinner. Oops. It's kind of tiny there. Did I not have a plant? Oh, I guess, guess I just used that orange piece for that. I'll paint something in. Um, all right. And this gets out any air bubbles. And I, I never worry about what happens if I get glue or anything on the back because I paint the backs of my cards. Where's my little samples? I always paint the backs of them. I paint the backs of them and sign the back of them. And then I varnish the fronts of them. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. I'm going to give these away today. I'll probably keep one, one or two. We'll see how, uh, how it goes. Tracy gets one. Says, Tracy, are you still here? Tracy's birthday's today, so I told her she could have one. But what I'll do is kind of like how we've been doing the giveaways with people here, so it's kind of fair without doing a random.org. What I'll do is I'll pick w one person, like Tracy, and if Tracy's still here, then th that'll work fine. If not, we'll do give it. I'm, I'm still giving her one, but I mean to pass to the next person. Is... Uh, then I'll, I'll pick one person, then that person will pick the next person, and then the next person will pick that person. And I want to try to get y'all to do something today when we do the giveaway, is I would like you to pick somebody for the next person that you're going to give the card to, uh, give a card to, that somebody you don't know. And international, I do send these international, that's not a problem. The only thing that that's really that's crazy is you know books and stuff like that uh, i can send little art cards and keep pulling that off art cards and stuff are fine okay tracy's still still with the tour okay so if you have to leave tracy let me know and i'll let you pick the next person so i'm tracy gets one because i told her she could have one for her birthday but then tracy can pick the next person that will get the next card but pick somebody you don't know tracy now, if if somebody gets picked, let me let me qualify this. If Tracy picks somebody and you don't want one or you don't want to send me your address to give it something, then you don't have to take it. I mean, you know, but, you know, let's just, you know, you don't have to, you don't have, you're not going to hurt my feelings, you know. So if you don't want to be in the in the giveaway, then uh, that's fine. I think I want this. I think I'm going to want this. I'll go this side, this side. So, uh, yeah, Tracy can pick the next person. If you have to leave Tracy, then then tell the mods who you pick. And again, guys, you know Tracy or anybody, pick somebody that you don't know. I'm gonna let I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna have that kind of on a horizon right there, um, because a lot of times we pick our friends. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, right? But we pick this, you know, some of the same people, and let's let's try to pick new people that we don't know. Hi, Wolfie. Hi, Michelle. Anybody else popping in? So if you're here, you know, and you might want one of these cards, then you need to um, say something in chat so people know you're here. All right. So now I've got the, all six of them based down. Now let me kind of clean off some of the 
matte medium off the wax paper here. Move this to the side. Let me wipe my scissors down. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to hit these with a heat gun real quick, just so they're not sticky wet. Okay. My 25-year-old Marvy Uchida. <laughs> Those of us that have had these 25-year-old heat guns, they I don't know that they've ever broke. We all still have them. <laughs> They don't have to be 100% dry, but just dry enough so they're not, when I go to put paint on, I'm not just smearing glue, right? And the golden matte medium is hard to get off your hands. If you don't have a craft scrubby, it, you're, it's going to take fingernail polish remover to get it off. I mean, it is some good stuff, <laughs> but it is some uh, stuff. Bye, Deborah. Thank you for stopping in. Thanks, Sylvie. Anybody else? Mine finally went to the heat. Oh, it did, Julie. Oh, let's have a moment of silence. Oh, my gosh. I know. You, me, Paula. I don't know who else have had them. But, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So... The next thing I want to do is start painting. All right. So, again, because I, I want a little bit of outer space, but I want it to be more gardeny too. So, I'm going to use... All right. I think I'm done with the with my glue. I have a little bit here. If I need to glue some a sticker down, I'll just pick this up with my finger. But in the meantime, I'm going to put my glue brush back in the water. You can't leave this, leave this out for long. It will uh, crust over. I mean, harden <laughs> in just a few minutes. All right, so a couple more baby wipes, and I'm going to decide on some colors here. All right. Let's see. What else do I have here? Let's move all the extra art cards, the scissors. Let's make some space. All right, so when I'm here by myself, a lot of times, depending on how many colors I'm going to use, look, I have this big tray. I have this huge acrylic tray <laughs> uh, for ac acrylic paint, but you can't see it on camera. So most of the time when I'm here, I'm just using these, uh, you know, my coffee lids. That, that's just the easiest thing to use. And if I just have a couple colors I want to throw out, I just use these. If I'm doing a major, you know, painting of some kind, a lot of painting, a big collage, and I get out that big tray because then I can put out lots of colors. But if I'm just going to do something small like this, then I just, you know, just a little tray. All right, so I'm going to need black and white. And again, I'm just using Deco Art Americana uh, matte, matte craft paint and some white. And the reason I like the matte is because if you want to do any pencil, color pencil work on top, it has to be matte. You can't, pen, color pencil is not going to go over uh, gloss, metallic. I mean, you could probably force it down, you know, but you're not going to get any, you know, any kind of control with your pencils if it's not a matte paint. That's why I like to use craft paint. A lot of times your... Um, uh, your artist grade paints not all of them i'm finding that the lucas i can do the lucas and it and the pencil goes over it now i haven't tried every color but um a lot of like uh your artist grade paints have a sheen to them and that sheen prevents your um color pencil let's see do i need to brighten this up it looked a little one how got a little dark let's get a little autofocus here too I don't know. It looks a little out of focus. I think it's just because we're so zoomed in. 
I think it's because we're so zoomed in. Let me restore the defaults here. Hang on, guys. I'm going to fix this. Hang on. Because my lighting just went odd. So let me restore the defaults, and then I can play around with it a little bit. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> right? Yeah, if you're, if you're color and you're... Your focus, if you're go focusing in and out, you're moving, you know, you're zooming in and out and in and out and uh, <laughs> constantly changing things, you're going to mess up your settings. So just hit your restore defaults and then you can go back and, you know, tweak it, right? You can tweak it. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. All right. So I'm going to start with uh, getting a couple of colors out. Like I think I want some greens. So, and maybe some orange and blue, because look, that's the colors I picked, right? So, let's see. Let's see about, uh, let's get a couple greens. Let's get a lime green. A little lime green, or I think it's called chartreuse. Citron, citron green. And then maybe a little bit of a dark forest green, which this is. Black forest green. <laughs> uh, Janet, my dog. Oh, sorry, Tracy. I thought you were talking to me because it was in caps. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Are y'all getting y'all's questions answered for the art swap? Are y'all getting them answered? But Tracy, did Tracy, wait, Tracy! Did she tell somebody who she picked? Wait, Tracy, did you pick somebody? Or is she already gone? Hi, Kate. All right, so dark green, the citron green, black and white, and some orange. I want the bright orange, probably. Let's have a little bit of bright color in here. Maybe, maybe a little of both. Let's just put a dollop of bright orange and a dollop of um, a uh, burnt orange. Okay, she picked Tracy again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Happy birthday, Tracy. I'm going to send you one of these cards. Okay. Okay, I'm going to send you one. So I'm going to start making my list. So we got Tracy. She's She got one because she's the birthday girl. And then she picked she picked Trisha Green. All right, and don't pick somebody yet, Trisha, unless you have to leave. But don't pick somebody unless you have to leave. Because I want to, kind of, you know, let's drag it out. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Let's see, do I need anything else? Maybe a touch of blue. What color blue do I want? I think I'm going to just pull out some Prussian blue because I can always add a little bit of white to it if I need to lighten it up. All right. Those colors. Now, let's get a brush. Now, a lot of times when I start, I just start with finger painting. I'll start just, you know, getting the edges all done with black. Well, like, for instance, let's show you. I'll just take the black paint. And I'll start by doing the edges just to get it going here, you know, just to have some paint going. So if I just get the edges done, then I feel like, you know, I've got to start. So I'll just go ahead and do that real quick. <clears throat> Anybody else I miss coming in? And you can paint, the thing about acrylic paint, you can paint over any color because, you know, it's it's opaque. So you can just paint over it. So I hope you all are enjoying the little art cards. And again, the, the art card swap, if you all missed it, just came in or you're watching, you know, lurking and you just uh, heard. I'm having an art card swap. Art cards are, the, my, my version of art cards are three by four. Three by four. They're not ATC size, which are two and a half by three and a half. My art cards are three by four. They're a little bit bigger. You have a little bit more real estate to play with. Okay. And uh, the theme, the theme is uh, fantasy gardens, whatever that means to you. It can be in any medium you like. You can paint it. You can draw it. You can sketch it. You can ink it. You can do whatever you want. 
you have until February 17th to get them to me, to my P.O. box, which all this information will be in the uh, description box below this video as soon as the video renders on YouTube. Um, let me look at my notes. You send in three, send me three, and you'll get two back. I'll keep one for you know, to keep it in a, a little collection of the of the project that we did. And then you will get two back from two different people. And two of your cards will go to two different people. Put your name on the back, um, it, even if it's just your screen name, you know, your nickname, your avatar name. Don't put anything on the back like your home phone number or anything like that because your card's going to go to a stranger more than likely, right? The, the person that's going to get your card, you probably won't know. So don't put any personal information on the back of your card. Just put, you know, you can put your email, you can put whatever you want. But, you know, if you want to put an Etsy shop that you have, that's fine. Uh, just don't put anything on the back of a card that you don't want anyone, everyone in the world to have. I'm going to clean out my brush here. So get it to me by February 17th, and then a week within the next week, I will send you back. Send a self-address, put it, send your cards with, with a self-address stamped envelope. That means putting your address here and at least two, if not three, stamps. If you are international, send me a, 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 an addressed envelope. And I will pay the postage to get it back to you. But please send me your address and the envelope. Don't make me write your address out. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't mind sending the postage for the internationals, but write your own address. <laughs> okay, put your own address on the envelope. Okay, uh, let's see. And I will go scrub back through my chat later to see who I missed or did I miss anything important. And I will put, um, I will put uh, all of Pecola's, you know, she's, she's giving y'all all the information. I'll put all this information on a, um, uh, just in the description box. Okay, let me brighten that up just a little. There we go. It's going to be fun. I hope so, little gypsy. We've done swaps before. We've done artist trading cards. We've done zines. We've done, we've done different things over the years. And in the same time, don't forget, guys, Janet's got her ongoing scavenger hunt. You have until April 1st to participate in her Find 100 Things in Your House scavenger hunt. She has a list on her channel in her community page of all of the list of everything you need to find. She tried to make it some things, things that you would find in your house. If you can't find it in your house, you can draw it, sketch it, doodle it or whatever. And I would just recommend doing this all in a composition book, unless you have some kind of designated travelers or some kind of book that you're working in, some kind of an art journal or a sketchbook. You can just use a composition book, right? Just use, oh, hi, CB. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I hope you'll participate, CB. I hope you'll participate. Um, so now I've got the got that started. Now I can go in with some of my colors and get the rest of the background. Then I can do uh, the details. Like if I want any little flowers or my little stars or, you know, anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one here. And start um, doing my little forest. So I'm gonna I'm now I'm moving to a brush here. And I'm gonna start uh, just getting just getting it going. You know, they could put little grasses, little leaves, little you know whatever. And I and I like doing um, like I don't like it to be so, real perfect like just flat. I like to, now if it's my outer space, I usually have that flat black because I put stars and stuff in. But I'm going to do a little garden here. So I'm going to have a little bit, just mixing up the greens just to have it look kind of like a forest floor. See, like that. And then, you know, after it dries, you can go in and put another layer of something. Right, let's see. 
Yeah, if you'll have any questions, just ask. Somebody will answer them, or if I see it in caps, I'll, I'll answer it as well. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of green up in here, maybe around the my little mushroom or my little tree. Now, I got my black is still wet, so I think I'm going to go ahead and hit this with the heat gun because the black is still wet, and I'm just kind of smearing the paint. So let me go ahead and dry these again. And y'all know I like water, I like my watch hands, I like mist and all kinds of different things going on. But, you know, this is just getting it started, getting some background in. Kate, did you see the Friends in the Box page we picked for you with all the little kids? Because I think you had to leave, so I don't know if you saw it. But we, we picked a page that had a whole bunch of little kids holding hands. It was really cute for a teacher, for an art teacher. Bye, Mary. Thank you. Got to move on. <laughs> okay. I hope you'll participate, Mary. I hope you'll participate in the swap. Okay, I have got to, I, I keep thinking I'm here in the postman. And I've got to get something stuck in the mail. So y'all going to have to excuse me just for a minute. I'm going to do as quick as I can. I'm going to run out to my curb and put my mail in. Let me make sure there's no cats in here. I'll be right back. That didn't take too long, I don't think. All right. Scrunch my chair back up here. All right, so. I think I want to do a couple little branches coming across there. I'll do that in a minute. Okay. Oh, me, yes. <laughs> Ashley, yeah, no, no meatloaf today, but funny. <laughs> no meatloaf. I just clean my brush off on the baby wipe unless it gets really crusty. Just so I can keep moving here. So I just want, just want a foresty green kind of background here for now. <laughs> yeah. I, I forgot who it was that uh, I did that giveaway. Who was it? Anyway, I told her I'd send the, I did send her the meatloaf recipe. Okay. Let 
and we'll make sure I'll, I'll give away four. Uh, well, I'll give away five of them. I'll just keep one. And uh, so we already have two. Tracy L. Pick Trisha Green. And Trisha, don't leave until you pick somebody. I mean, if you have to leave, but don't pick in, don't pick anybody yet. So y'all need to, if you are, and pick somebody you don't know. Everybody pick somebody you don't know. And please send me your address if you want one when, you know, when your name, if you get your name called. So I can uh, send, send it out to you. So I'm just kind of doing a little blotchy foresty look right now just to get some, you know, maybe I'll put some birds or some other thing. I just want, I just want some color, some paint in there now. Okay, then down here, clean my brush again. Under the butterfly, I'm going to have it more light. Here. Can y'all see okay? Do I need to zoom in or is this good? <clears throat> D. Richie got it? Okay, <laughs> I didn't remember. Oh, I have it written down in my book who I sent it to, but I, didn't, I don't have it here in front of me. She said she was going to try. It's my mom's recipe. All right, so now I'm going to go a little dark green in here. But all the little details is the fun part to me. This is just getting a base in there. All right, so got another one done there at the base. Maybe a little darker than one. Okay. All right. Just going to try to, I need to get crack a lack in here. Hi, Mona. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Oh, so, <laughs> Carla, did I miss saying, seeing you? Anybody else I missed? Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, stopping in, hanging out, just making some art cards. And if you're just coming in, uh, all the information will be in the description box. But we are doing a uh, fantasy garden, fantasy garden um, art card swap. So three by four cards. And uh, all the information is going to be in the description. We've already said it a whole bunch of times. I know someone's going to email, you said it 20 times. I know, I know. <laughs> Just get some little trees and little whatnot going on here. Clean my brush again. Thank you, Mona. Thank you. Little fantasy gardens. These I'm just giving away. These are just I'm just giving these away today. I try to do these occasionally. It's been, it's been a while since we've done them. It's been a while. Okay, <clears throat> just getting them based in here. A little flashed out. There we go. There we go. All right. So has anybody else been doing any create create some fun stuff? <laughs> What have y'all been doing? Do you have anything to share on your Instagrams or?
that you'll want other people to see. You can you can't post links, but you could say the name of your Instagram. Hi, Michelle, Donna. Hi, Mark. Where you been? How you been? Hope you've been okay, Mark. Haven't seen you around for a while. Got a little paint right there. We're doing an art card swap, Mark, if you want to participate. I'll leave all the details in the uh, description after the video is up on YouTube. So if you don't see it up immediately, like, you know, five minutes after the show is over, you know, give me a, give me a few minutes. Okay. I just got a little splotchy right there. I'll just cover that up. Let me just cover up some white on it and then I'll paint over it. Okay. All right. There's another one. Two more to base in. Get some green in there and then go back. Get my background gardeny. Hope I'm staying in frame for you guys. I keep checking to see if there's anything in caps, if y'all are talking to me. Oh, I'll tell you. I told Janet about this. I don't know if I'll tell her this. I'll tell the stair story, Janet. Should I tell the, tell, tell the stair story? I'll tell my <laughs> lens, my eyeglass lens. So Saturday, Hubster and I ran some errands, you know, the laundry, the bookstore, and the grocery store, all the usual stuff. And uh, by the time we got over to the grocery store, I thought, God, everything looks so fuzzy. Why does everything look so fuzzy? I mean, I need to clean my glasses. So I took my glasses off and was going to wipe them down with my scarf that I had around my neck. One of the lenses in my glasses was gone. You know, let me take them. One of the lenses <laughs> in my glasses was gone. I looked around the floor of the of the car and everything, did not see it anywhere. And um, Hubster had just ran. He said, let me just run in the store real quick and get this one thing and I'll be right back. So I was sitting in the car when all this happened. And we'd already gone to the bookstore. The last place we went was the bookstore. Then we were heading home and stopped by the grocery store. So... <laughs> I said, well, no wonder everything's fuzzy. I'm looking at my trifocals. I wear trifocals. I'm looking at my trifocals with one lens. I said, well, maybe they, I guess the last place we'd gone was the bookstore. I said, well, let's go back to the bookstore and look in the parking lot and, you know, go through the bookstore. So we drove all the way back to the bookstore. It's about 20 minutes backtracking. And we looked through the parking lot, didn't see anything, looked under the car that was parked in the same spot where we were parked. And uh, didn't see it. So I said, well, let's go in. So we went in. And I went up to the guy at the counter. I said, did anybody turn in? Did anybody turn in a, a lens for eyeglasses? He goes, yeah. He goes, I sure did. And the girl behind the counter goes, I just threw that away. <laughs> I just threw that away. And and the guy looked at me and looked at her. And he so immediately there's there was like three garbage cans behind the counter. 
that I could see from where I was. So he started digging through all the garbage cans. Bless his heart. He was going to determine to find that lens for me. And he did. He did find the lens for me. And uh, popped it back in my glasses. Thank you, Devin. Devin, if you're just coming in, we're doing an art card swap. So all the information will be in the uh, description of this video after it's up. So all it's going to entail is three by four cards. You send me three, you get two back, self-addressed stamped envelope. I will pay for the international postage to go back. All that information will be in the description. So anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, so he found, he found my lens in the garbage. And I know the girl felt terrible about throwing it away. You know, they're young, you know, I guess they probably think, who's going to come back for a lens? Uh, I thought, so, you know, if you if you wore trifocals and knew how expensive they were, you'd come back for it, too. So anyway, Hubster slipped the guy a $10 bill and he's no, no, you don't have to. He left it on the counter. So uh, for digging through the trash. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. So I said, well, it's probably time for me to go get my eyes checked anyway. It's been a couple years. So uh so I did make an appointment for my to get my eyes checked, and the closest as soon as I could get in was in Feb. Oh, it's not. On, I hope it's not on February the seventeenth. No, I think it's on a Tuesday. I was gonna say I hope it's not on the same day I made my because uh, <laughs> I, I I don't think I made it for a Wednesday. I think it was a Tuesday or Thursday. So anyway, um, yeah. So I, I'm gonna go get some new glasses anyway. So yeah, but I know, right? Um, she sends my lens for my plan. 200 bucks by itself. Yeah, I know. They're expensive, Juanita. Trifocals are not cheap. All right. So there's the last one here, guys. And we'll I'll dry these and then add some detail. Then we're going to start giving them away. We've already given away two. And uh, so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and put some light green on here. So, yeah, if y'all are all coming in and missed the information on the uh, art card fantasy garden swap, all the information will be in. And Pacola's been posting little uh, cut and paste that she did, too. But I will go back and put it in the uh, description. All right. All right, let's just get some gardeny looking stuff going on here. Maybe some swirly bits. I haven't used the orange or the blue yet all right getting there did i have this i think i had that one this way originally but now i'm liking it that way so we're going with it that way <laughs> Some kind of wavy bits back in here. No, if y'all said anything about what y'all are doing creatively wise over the past few days i missed it because i am kind of concentrating here trying to get her done all right there's a start all right let me go ahead and um clean my brush real quick again and uh i need new baby wipes here all right let me dry them
I gotta show y'all the paper clay too. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that real quick. There's really not a whole lot to show because there's the paper is still drying. The paper clay is still drying in the molds. So I, I can't, there's not a whole lot to show you, but just so you know what I'm working on here. So I got this uh, from Xandra, this mold. I thought I was buying, I don't think it's going to, anything's going to fall out when I turn it over. Maybe it will. Okay. I don't know. I'll try. Let me put something on the back here. Let me get a. Uh, here, let me just put this on the back. So when I turn it over, nothing falls out. So I thought I was buying uh, some rubber or acrylic stamps. And she does have this set of stamps coming in in February. I told her to hold me a sec because I'll still want the stamps. But she sent me the mold because that's what I ordered. But I, and I said, well, I don't do resin. She does resin things in these molds, as do a lot of other people. But I have... Um, uh, I, I haven't done anything like this in a long time because I don't do any, you know, polymer clay or any of that stuff anymore. I just don't have time. So anyway, I said, but I'll go ahead and I'm going to buy some paper clay. Let me just show you what I bought. So I bought this at Hobby Lobby, Creative Paper Clay. I don't know how it's going to work because it's still in the mold. It's still drying. Uh, I might try to pop one out. We'll see. But anyway, it's creative paper clay. This was $10. Of course, you can use a 40% off coupon. I used about a half of a one. I bought two. I used about a half of a one to fill <clears throat> to fill the molds. So now I'm going to put this plastic thing. Here. I'm going to put my pal on here so I can flip it over. See, one just dropped out. So I don't know if it was ready to drop out, but I'm going to, you know, they're not, I, they're, they're still cold to the touch. So they're still wet, but if they'll pop out, I'll take them out as long as uh, I don't want to mess them up. So let's see if any of the other ones pop out because they're still wet. I just did these yesterday. I better not take it out yet. This one just fell out. So we'll look at that one. So here are all the, um, these are, and she said it is, she is going to get the stamps to this, but this is, Kind of tilt it so you can see. So there's nibs, ink jars, little little uh, you know it says writing and little banners and <clears throat> so it's really it's very cool. Yeah, it is. It is Kate. And then like I said, this one just dropped out. So this is what it looks like. It's just plastic. It's just a plastic mold. So I bought that paper clay. So here's one. It's still cold to the touch. So it's not dry. So I don't want to mess with it too much. This one says diary. So then you can just, you know, it's paper. So you can just take an emery board once it's dry. You can just take an emery board and sand this down, sand those edges down and smooth it and paint it. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint it. <clears throat> Denise and mom. Um, so I'm just going to paint it. But look how nice that looks, right, with paper. And I did mash it in there really well. I mashed it in there really, really well. Well, the thing said, this particular brand, I don't need any water or anything. It's just soft clay. And it said it could take two to three days. It said it could take two to three days to dry. So I'm, as, soon as, it, as soon as it dries and I pop them out, I'm going to make some more. Because I might as well. I bought it to make them. <laughs> So uh, it is, it's real light. You can't even, and it's just nothing, it's like feather light. It's paper, right? It's paper clay. It's very light, Devin. That's why I thought the paper clay, I didn't want resin. I didn't want anything heavy, you know, and I just did that because I accidentally bought the mold, right? So since I accidentally bought the mold, let's go ahead and use it. So yeah, that is, uh, that's my uh, update on that. Now, by Monday, maybe I'll have these popped out and started painting and make some more, you know. So, there we go. All right. So, now let's get back to our art cards. All right. So, let's go ahead now and let's do Trisha. Trisha, you still here? You pick the next person. Pick the next person that's going to get one. So I'm not, I don't want people to have to stay here if they have to go. So if, if you pick somebody and they have to leave, then just tell somebody so you can pick the next person before they, before you go. So, um, Trisha, who do you pick? Probably Val. It would probably break easy, but 
I'm going to clear gesso it or matte medium, probably varnish it. I'll, I'll, you know, protect it after I paint them. You got to probably be careful until you got some kind of, you know, something coating it, right? Something coating it. So I will do that. Uh, let's see. So Trisha, she, all right, she chooses chicken pot pie Barb. Okay, so Barb, chicken pot pie. Well, I'll just put C pot pie. <laughs> I don't, do I have your address? Y'all make sure, um, I'm pretty sure I have Trisha's. I know I have Tracy's, but Trisha, Barb, anybody else, please email me your address. So make it easy for me to get these out to you. Again, I do not share your addresses with anyone, not even the mods. I don't put you on an email list. I don't do, I just send you whatever it is and that's it. So um, I don't do anything with your addresses, just FYI. Okay, so now uh, Barb, don't, don't pick anybody yet. We're going to, you know, is she still here? Is Barb still here? I want to get a confirmation that she's still here. Um, so we, because we're going to give away two more, I'm keeping one and we're going to give away two more, but I do need y'all's addresses if you want giveaways. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some little details to these. Which one do I want to start with? What do I want to start with? I think I might, um, okay, Barb. So, um, Trisha picked you. And by the way, here's my email address, guys. And it is in my description box as well. So you can email me. Email me your address. I bet it will dry a little stronger than when it is wet. Oh, pro oh yeah, probably, Kate. But I don't know. You know, I've never used this. Uh, it's been years since I did any kind of clay work. And this paper clay, this brand is totally new to me. And uh, so we'll see what, what happens. All right, so now let's see what I want to do. So, again, this is where I kind of fiddle with what each one. You know, I just kind of fiddle with each one. And um, just depends. Do I want some more stickers? Like, you know, do I want some more flowers? Do I want some more little butterflies? So, for instance, all right, here, let me pick. Um, let's pick this little bee. All right, so I'm just going to pick this little bee. Now, here's the thing, like I was saying earlier about the stickers. I don't want that white on there, right? So I can do a couple things. I'm not going to cut around, uh, I'm not going to cut in between each little leg, but I want to get the bulk of the white sticker off. And then what I'll do is after I glue it down, and I still have some matte medium here that's, where would it go? No, that's not it. Here, well, I got a little tiny bit of matte medium here so I can uh, glue it back down. And then I'll paint. I'll paint out any little uh, areas that I didn't want to cut out. But I'm getting the bulk of the white sticker edge off like that. Okay. So there's still a little bit there. But what I'll do now is I'll just pick up a little bit of the matte medium because I don't trust stickers, especially on something like an art card. Um, I, I always put the glue on there and then we'll put this little B right up in here. Okay. Put that little B there. So you can just continue to add things, right? So I'm going to just put a little bit of matte medium over the top there. And now let me dry it real quick. Now I'll get in here with a fine brush, get in here with a fine brush and paint, paint around the B where it's white. Let's see. So where the little bit of the white still is, I'll just get in there and paint it in. A little fussy but I, I this is the part I like I like the little fussy part like this this is when in my head I'm going shh, 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 shh. I'm concentrating this is this is the fun part for me but it's also can take the longest and that's why you don't get to see me do it very often because 
by the time I, you saw, it's already taken me, you know, a couple hours to just to do this. Now to get all the little details in is going to take, you know, a while each. Okay. So, all right, Barb, we still need two more people and I don't want to keep everybody all, you know. So Barb, who do you pick? Pick somebody you don't know. That's my, that's my request for the day. Pick someone you don't know. And it can be international. I don't mind ma mailing these out. Now, uh, you're going to have to give me a couple days because I do varnish them. And the varnish, I wait at least two days for the varnish to dry before I stick them in an envelope, right? We don't want, you know, wet varnish sticking to your envelope, right? So, the, you know, it'll be, a, it'll be a few days before I mail these out. Okay, so um, Barb, who do you pick? I'm keeping one and we're giving away five. So one goes to Tracy. Tracy picked Trisha. Trisha picked Barb Chicken Pot Pie Society. And now Chicken Pot Pie Society Barb is going to pick. <laughs> yeah, me too, Kate. Rebecca Philly. Rebecca F I L I Philly. Is that it? Rebecca. Okay, so Rebecca, <laughs> no, they're not ATC size, Susan. They're, uh, they're my version of an art card size. They're three by four. And that's the size of the swap. You have to do a three by four. There you are. Okay, Rebecca, email me your address so I can mail it out. Again, I don't share your addresses with anybody. I try to reinforce that because, some, you know, I mean, that's only natural, right? So I don't share your addresses with anybody. So Rebecca Philly. Now don't tell me who you pick yet, Rebecca. Well, wait, let me finish one card. Let me finish one card. And then you can tell me who you pick. Unless you have to go. If you have to go, I understand. All right. So now I think what I'm going to do is some little, I'm going to do some little, some little leaves. So I'm just going to, now remember, this is the fantasy Fantasy Gardens. <laughs> Ashley. So I'm going to just put some little, little leaf things here. Just some little. And when you do your art cards, you can do, it doesn't have to be collage. It can be mixed media. It can be painting. It can be drawing, inking, pencil. Your cards can be anything you want them to be as long as they're the theme of fantasy gardens. Yes. Oh, what varnish do I use? Okay. Let me show you that. I use the Delta Ceramco Gloss Interior Exterior Water Bay. This is water based. It is water-based varnish. And all I do, is, let me get see if I have one here that doesn't have something on it. Let me find one of my cards. Okay, I don't know if these are finished. Um, I haven't signed them or anything. Uh, I guess I can use, here, this one. Let me go with this one because this one's half finished, but I'm going to just show you how I varnish. So what I do is I just put the varnish in a little spot like this. And so that you don't get brush strokes, I just use my finger and I just mash it out like this. I just mash it out like that and then just let it sit. And, it, and you know, you might have a little bit of texture, but it, it levels off fairly well. And you only need one coat and it stays that, it stays this shiny. It will stay that shiny. Here, let me show you one that's done. I mean, that's, yeah. See? See how shiny? That's one coat. One coat. So then you leave it, leave it overnight, leave it overnight. Don't try to be sending someone in the mail, <laughs> you know? Um, all right. I need some more baby wipes. This one's all full of paint. <laughs> all right. 
so let's see. Oh, let's go back to this now. So I hope y'all are, you know, going to join in on the, on the card, the art card swap. I'm not calling it ATCs because they're not artist trading cards because artist trading cards are two by two and a half by three and a half. And these are three by four. Give you a little bit more room to do more on. And I will put all the information in the description box of this video after it renders on YouTube. Am I staying in frame? <laughs> I'm going to shop for right, for a video. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, they're little now. They're only three by four. But that's sweet. Oh, I hope, I hope you'll uh, be a part of the fibs and the friends in the box. And uh, enjoy our company. If you're if you're not around, I don't know. You maybe you might be at other people's streams. I, I don't recognize you, but good to have you here. So I'm just whoops. I'm just gonna kind of go around. Oh, and, and it just reminded me to see the back. I do. Um, I paint the backs and sign them on the back. This one's from 2016. So, yeah. So this is the part that I enjoy, the, the, this part right here, adding all these little details and stuff. But you have to get all that other stuff done before you can get to that, right? I think I want this to come a little bit more. All right, let's see what else do I want to do. I think I want some watch hands coming off. Do I want any little something down here? I think I'm going to come down here into the bottom. My paint's starting to dry a little. I use the paint right out of the bottle without adding any water unless I'm doing like a bucket of stars where I splatter stars. Then I water it down. But it does start to get, you know, it's been sitting here for a couple hours. So I have to just add just a touch of water because it's starting to crust out, you know, film over because it's been sitting dry you know drying for a couple hours yes you can get the varnish well you used to be able to get it at michael's and hobby lobby susan and it doesn't have to be that brand i don't know what brands you know so much going on a lot of things aren't you don't you know, they're not selling stuff <laughs> or they're not restocking so if you don't find you can always find it online you can i'm sure find it online and it doesn't have to be this brand. You just want to make sure it's gloss and that it's water-based, right? Gloss and water-based. doesn't have to be that brand. It's just that that's the brand I've always used. And as long as they keep, you know, as long as they keep selling it, I'll buy it. If not, I'll just find something else. You can probably get water-based varnish at the hardware store in a pint. <laughs> You just have to make sure and close it up good when you're not using it if you're going to use a lot. All right, so we got a little bit of something going on down there. Maybe I want a couple little darker ones up in here. And again, you can take your time and do as much or as little detail as you want, depending on how much you know time you got and how much you want to spend on it. But I added that little B right there. Now, maybe down here, maybe I want to add a little flower. And then I want to put my watch hands on there. And maybe show you a little bit of pencil. Because that's the other reason I like to use craft paint. That's matte craft paint. Is because then you can go in here with pencil. Okay? If this is a shiny paint, the pencil won't go on there. Okay, thank you, Jazzy. Thank you, anybody that's sending me out your addresses. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe one little flower or something down here, you know, just right here in this corner. 
So let me just kind of look through here, maybe something orange. I'm not being real particular about the type of flower. I just want something that kind of goes. So, or, you know, some other little insect or something. I like that little flower. I don't, don't really need the, the leaves for it. So maybe I'll just, well, maybe something a little, well, that's kind of something, I want some kind of in between those two sizes. That one's a little big. That one's a little small. Let's see. Oh, here we go. There's some orange stuff. <clears throat> There's a little moth. I like that little moth. Or this one here. Let's just go with this. Let's just go with this butterfly. Be easier to cut out real quick. So again, you know, stickers usually have a, not all of them, some are, are cut, you know, right up to the edge, but most stickers have a white border, and I just try to cut that off. Again, I don't try to cut around antenna. I'll draw those back in if, it, if I need to, you know, if I want them to be seen on a, maybe a dark surface or something. All right, so just cutting out the little moth or butterfly and then I'm going to get um, a little I still have a little tiny bit here of matte medium to put on here okay I'm going to stick that little butterfly right here right on the edge of that tree and then kind of coat it over the top now let me dry that So now let me get a pencil or two and show you an orange and a white. Let me sharpen. These are just Prismacolor. And also the other thing I like is my Posca. My white Posca. So if you don't want to splatter stars, now this one I'm not going to put any on there, but if you want stars, let me just show you on this one maybe. Instead of getting out the paint and splattering, you know, if you only have a little bit of, of uh, area and you don't want too many, you know, you can just use it with the Posca and just drop in a few stars, right? <clears throat> That's what I'll do on this one. So it's going to have both on the top and the bottom. And there may be a shooting star in there or something. But, you know, just white Posca, is, it's acrylic paint. So you can just use a um, use a Posca. Okay, now, uh, before we go, we have to give away one more. So, Rebecca, you pick somebody. This is the last person. Pick somebody you don't know. So, um, Rebecca Feely, pick somebody in the chat for the last card. I'm keeping one, giving away five. So Tracy picked Trisha, Trisha picked Barb, Barb picked Rebecca, and then um, just spelled it like that. And Rebecca, who do you pick? <laughs> okay, you pick Boneyard. Okay, Twitchy. Okay, Boneyard. Um, I probably used to have your address, but it's probably been forever. So send me your address again, Boneyard, okay? Um, yeah, so here it is again. There it is again. So if, if you're on this list, I have Tracy's, but everybody else, send me your uh, address so I can send out your um so I can send you out a card, one of these. All right, so let's see. Now I want to, I want the, I want these watch hands to come out here. So I want one to go through the B. Another one up to the corner. Okay. 
Okay, so like kind of like that. And I'm not going to put any uh, antennae on the this butterfly because it's going to look it's it's the composition will it'll be thrown off by having these lines and those lines. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So now I'm going to dry that, and then I'll put a little pencil on that. Okay, so here we got this. Now what I'm going to do is take my orange pencil and put a little highlight. And I should just go ahead and get some blue, get a little bit of blue for the shadow. And put a little shadow. But pencil will go over the matte medium and pencil will go um, over the acrylic paint. Okay. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. And welcome if I haven't met you before. Yeah, thank you, little gypsy. Thanks, Boneyard. Don't forget to y'all don't forget to email me because I can't send out. I still have a color book from a giveaway a couple weeks ago that I never got their address. So I can't invent the addresses. All right, so now I can take my white and just kind of make sure it's nice and I'll let us do it for Posca. Something like that. And I sign my cards on the back so it doesn't take up room on the front. So I sign them on the back. All right. So do I want anything else? Maybe a little bit. Do I want a little bit of orange in there? Maybe just a touch. Just to give it a little more. Maybe a little bit more on this butterfly here. Let's outline him a little better. So he shows up a little more. You could probably put a little tiny little orange antenna. I just don't want any antenna to distract from the big watch hands there. So something like this. Now, if I decide I'm finished with it, I'll go ahead and throw the varnish on just so you can see. So, you know, just a little garden scene. Oh, you're welcome, Linda. I hope you'll participate. I will go ahead and let me re review it real quick before we go. Okay, so let me go ahead and varnish this. Let me see if there's anything else I want to add. Do I want a couple more? Little, maybe I want a little bit of green down here. Is that good enough? Do I like that enough? Is that enough green? I don't know. Where's my brush here? I might want just a little, a couple more little lime green. Maybe a couple down in here just to give it a little bit more oomph. And I didn't spend a lot of time on this one, but I think it looks kind of, you don't have to spend a lot of time on it if you like it, <laughs> you know. All right, so then let's make sure it's all dry. And I usually do the backs after the varnish is dry. The reason I don't do the backs, paint the backs black and then put the varnish. Let me see if I can find one here. Let me see here. Yeah, I'm pretty careful about these, but I was trying to find one where there was some varnish on the back. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have any that are messed up. <laughs> Let me see some of these little ones. Well, anyway, what will happen... What'll happen is if you if you fix the backs, you paint the backs black, 
or anything like that. Uh, then you go to varnish it and put the shine on. If you get even a drop of varnish on here, it's going to show. So you want to be able to paint over any varnish that you get on the back. You want to do the back after the varnish is dry because then you can paint over any varnish. But if you do the back first and then do the varnish and even just get a little bit of varnish on the back, you're going to see it. It's going to shine. So paint the backs. Paint the backs after the varnish dries. Oh, thank you, Devin. So, Devin, did you hear the rules and the stuff, you know, all about? So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put about the size of about a nickel. They're, they're about. And I just hold the card and I just work my finger over the whole thing and go right to the edge. Now, if you've got any, you don't, you got to be careful not to use water, you know, like um, you can't do watercolor and then do this unless you put some kind of fixative first. But everything I've put on here is permanent. It's acrylic paint, matte medium, color pencil. So, you know, it's not going to move. But if you, if I had any watercolor, neo color, or anything like that, then the, then doing this with the varnish would move that. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do that. All right, so there's that one. So I'll just set it aside for about a day. And then, uh, then after that's dry, I'll turn it over and paint the backs black and sign it and put my little star shine on the back. And they're all going to look different. They're, they're, none of these are going to look exactly the same. Some might have, you know, a star shine. Some might have, you know, they're all going to be a little different. But you can kind of see where we're headed. This is kind of where we're headed with them. Okay. No, doc, let's see. What did I miss, Holly? Oh, you did not hear the details. Okay. I'm going to go over them one more time and then we're going to go. Thanks, everybody that's been here, watched all this, hung out. And uh, hopefully you had fun and will participate in the art card swap. Again, I will put all these details in the description after the video renders. Give me about an hour or so, right? Okay, so the idea is you send me three cards with the theme of Fantasy Gardens. Three by four. They are not ATC size. These are three by four. Fantasy Gardens is the theme. It can be in any medium you want. Of course, I like mixed media collage, but you can paint, draw, sketch, pencil, ink, whatever you want. As long as you do the three by four fantasy gardens and you send me three. So you will send me three in a self-addressed self -addressed stamped envelope. If you are international, I will pay the postage back, but please send me a self-addressed envelope. I'll stamp it for you if you're international, but fill out your information and then fold this up, put this and your three cards, let's not pick up the wet one, put your three cards in a, in a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will send you back two. I'm going to mail, I'm going to keep one and keep it in a like our collection and then you will get two different people's cards back. So you send in three, you're going to get two back, okay? And then somebody else, two different people, will get two of your cards. You have until February 17th, okay? February, Wednesday, February 17th to send them to me. Here is my P.O. box. You send them to me here with your self-addressed stamped envelope. Again, if you're international, I'll pay to send them back to you because I know some of the time it's hard for y'all to get international stamps to send a stamp back to yourself. So I will I will do that. Um, the cards do not have to be the same. As long as they're, you, you could have an ink one, a collage one, a, as long as they're fantasy gardens. Be aware, I will probably keep my favorite. <laughs> in the collection um so do three good ones because the you know i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep one um let's see i'm looking at my notes here i think i said everything did i miss something did i miss anything yeah um here it is and my this will be i will put all this information in the description box 
under this video on YouTube. And my and my P.O. box is always listed there. It's it's always listed there. Okay, so you can find my P.O. box all the time. Um, let's see. So I hope everybody will participate. Um, yeah, if you are international, guys, you have a little over a month to get them to me. So I would recommend if you are going to participate, you do them in a week. Get them done in a week. And then send them to me and that'll give you three weeks <laughs> right, to get them to me. Because uh, I can't do anything about the international. Um, well, I can't do anything about any of the post office. But um, And you do not have to tell me that you sent me one. When I get them, I'm going to show them. I'll show them every stream. I stream twice a week, every Monday and Wednesday, 9 a.m. Eastern. And I will show every all the cards I get up until the 17th of February, okay? If if it happens that, let's just say, um, I get them, you know, I get everybody's on February 17th, and three or four days later, I start mailing them out. And I mail them all out. And February 27th, I get somebody's cards. I don't have any for to swap out with you. So what will happen is if I get your cards after February 17th, I will just send your cards back to you. Okay. I will just send your cards back to you if it's after February 17th. All right. So there's the rules. And you know, don't email me if your cards, if something happens. I'm going to show them every week as I get them. Okay. So there, there's my teacher voice. Where's Kate to skate? Did I have a good teacher voice, Kate? <laughs> She's probably gone. Uh, but I, anyway, so that's, uh, that, there's the rules and everything. So do you have any last questions before we go? Thanks, Devin. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thanks, my mods, Julie, uh, Janet, and Pacola. No, they're not ATCs. The ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. These are three by four. Three by four. Okay. Send me three. Three by four. And I will put all that in the description if you missed it. Okay. All right. So um, thanks for being here, Boney. It's been a while since I've seen you. Who else have I not seen? Says hi to Donna. Ken, thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Cheryl. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad, Ashley. And th <laughs> thanks, everybody, for being here on uh, Hump Day. And um, again, I'll probably see you guys at other streamers. If not, I'll see you here Monday. I don't expect to have anybody's cards in by Monday. So, <laughs> but be working on them, guys. Um. Do you want to put it in your community? To, I guess I could, Pacola. I just don't uh, have to remember to take it out. I, I think if I put it under this under this video, it tells everybody. It tells everybody, you know, the, which video and all the information. Because then you're seeing samples too, right? But may, maybe I will. I should give you uh, access to that, Pacola. I should make you one of those... Uh, mods that can do stuff in the background <laughs> i don't like to put too much pressure on my mods uh, uh yeah <laughs> all right guys y'all have a great day thanks again for being here and y'all stay safe stay stay healthy stay free bye guys